and we're live, baby. Let's figure out who doesn't love their family and is hanging out with us instead for Easter. I kind of consider these people my family because I have I come from a broken home and um, I'm on Easter weekend with you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, it feels good to be, I'll be honest with you though, it feels good to be even closer to the Lord on Easter Sunday because I feel like being in Italy, you're a little closer to God. Yeah, I feel like they okay. wouldn't. They wouldn't dig America as much as Italy. I don't know why. It's just an inference I had. Okay, okay. You were like, I don't buy it. Well, <laughs> look at the bu bubbles. That's really cool. Yeah, right there we go. Courtney Basinger, trending tech, the one-two punch we need. How y'all doing? What's up, dudes? How y'all doing? We got some charcuterie for you boys today. Yes, yeah, thanks, your Kroger Meyer charcuterie boys. Oh, my you. actual family is here. Kelsey, what's up? Oh, that's cool. This is like a. Actual Easter get together. Kelsey, what's up? How do you pronounce your last name? Is it Cusino? No, Cusino. Cusino. That is way cooler. Yeah. Okay, my family, Katie Harper. Hi, hello. I just made pork burgers. Nice. Katie, how were they? Did you take a pick? <laughs> and can I see it? Brentomania. I have a feeling the first Easter donation is going to be from Brentomania. It's just a hunch I had. Just a, just a hunch. You're good. Okay, so good to know. So these were each 31 bucks 16 euros oh i see i see I and see. then so the beer was 40. so 40 divided by eight that's about five euro a, a beer yeah because it's not at a grocery store and, it's, and they're pretty big they're bigger than 12 ounce. i mean this oh. is this is more right jacob fixed his name jacob hartlow it is jacob we kept calling him jacko <laughs> we sure did <laughs> sorry dude <laughs> Look, dude, I almost said this. Katamashi, looks like y'all drinking bottles of apple cider vinegar. It I know. It, to me, it almost looks like white wine. Also, Katamashi. That's a, 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 a name I have not seen yet. Hey, I was wrong. Ten freaking Easter dollars from the one and only Chef Jeffrey. Chef Jeffrey, what's up, dude? Where's Chef Jeffrey chefing? Is that how you say that? Yeah, was it Texas? Oh, he, we did ask this before, didn't we? We're, we have terrible memories. That's all the drinking. Wait. And Brent Two dollars. Pennsylvania had smoked smoked pork loin for lunch. We're about to have some smoked pork, right? We sure are. Hey, cheers! By the way, cheers. Happy Easter! Happy Easter, dude. Mm -hmm. That's beer. I dig these bottles, man. Yeah, these are wild. They do seem like apple cider vinegar. I might take this home with me in my bag and just like make like simple syrup in this. Like, I just love this bottle. Yeah, it's a know. fantastic bottle. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to bring it up again. <laughs> I think those are half liter beers. I think you're right. This might be a liter. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is, let's actually look at the amount. It's 55 CLs. What's that mean? Mm. What Somebody's a CL. I don't know. Centiliter? Centiliter? 55 CLs. You guys let us know what that is. You're probably smarter than we are. House that beer. Let's go. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> it's too cold. It's one of those ones that give you a. a Brain freeze. You got to be careful. You're just going to brain freeze. Hurts. I was ah, right. Dallas Tech. When, uh, when I what remember up? things, I think I still got it. Yeah, dude. We're drinking oleo, as they say here. Oleo. What's that mean? Oil. Oh, it looks like oil. It might even be oil. I mean, it's just oil. I'll have some oil. We also walk, speaking of oil, we walk by a yeah, dude. Uh, uh, gas, what do they call those gas stations today? And it's it blew my mind. It was pretty crazy. It's kind of cool. It's, it's a like guy a sitting way, on the road. Yeah, it's on the road. It's like a pullover. It's not like a big, there's not like, usually there's a, in the States, convenience store, overhang, blah, 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 blah. Here, it's just three little pumps. Yeah. It'd be like, it's like a mailbox. Like, yeah, just a mailbox would just be at a corner. Right. It's just a thing. Just a pump. Yeah. Just a couple of them. That's yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, he's at Whole Foods. Hey, now that's a that's a fine establishment. Got my, good stuff. My dad was a butcher at uh, Farmer Jack, which was a pretty big grocery store in Michigan for a long time. And then Kroger bought them, and then he worked at Kroger for a long time. So I know that grocery store world. Whole Foods, uh, probably their quality is even better with their their meat. The Kroger, oh, yeah, absolutely. they seem they seem to really go absolutely. hard on the quality there. Whole Foods is, yeah, it's like I always consider that a high end. Uh, grocery store yeah absolutely absolutely i'm gonna get a com uh, community post going here oh yeah you work on that i'll entertain i'll, I'll read the comments all i need is three bumps <laughs> Can I watch you? 
Who are you and where have you been? First time seeing you, and uh, you're funny. I like that. Solid. Oh, we had like actually a lot of people texting us about Rome. Did you guys make it to Rome yet? I didn't respond to these. Oh, I've been real bad about community. Sorry, Sorry about, about that, guys. guys. Our, our phone number we've not been uh, keeping up with. My grandpa, my grandpa was a bagger at Farmer Jack's at 80. That's cool as hell. Okay, wait, you said at 80. Oh, at 80 years old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kelsey, do you know what Farmer Jack location he worked in? I'd love this to This will be interesting because I actually don't know where the Cougnos are from. That would be the, mar the married into my family side. Your yeah. mom, Kelsey's mom, is a Desmond. Okay. So I'm not sure where... Uh, yeah, her grandpa's from. I would imagine. Well, no, because they could have met anywhere. I was gonna say I'd imagine Toledo, but I think like I thought Farmer Jack was in northern. It's Ohio. in Ohio. It was because it was like I'm about to get some family lore. I'm getting learned. <laughs> I'm getting learned, dude. Yeah, I I loved Farmer Jack, and now that it's gone, it kind of has like a cult following branding. Like I have a Farmer Jack shirt. You know, when things go away, they become like a thing. Yeah, like oh, Toledo on burn. Okay, so amazing. Oh, so your your dad's a Toledo Cooge now. I wonder in, in any relation to the Cooge now, like steakhouse. I also went to high school with some Cooge now's. Which, because you always lived in Chicago, I never I never made the connection that it could have potentially been the same. That's interesting. Uh, I'm sure Italy, Chef Jeffrey said, I'm sure Italy is stunning and the women are incredibly beautiful. The women and the men. Everyone's good looking. Everyone's beautiful. Whatever you're into, no whoever shit. you like, they're hot. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> okay, that makes sense that Kelsey's, oh, so there's a Cougno's restaurant in Toledo. And it's like a good steakhouse kind of on the east side of Yeah, area. okay. Said third cousins, that makes sense. And I, this actually might not be any connection, but her, her dad sells steaks. Okay. So steakhouse, cousin, yes. selling steaks. Yes. I wonder if there's any overlap there. Yeah. I might just be making dumb associations, but. <laughs> How was the little bed last night? I'll tell you what, if you get drunk enough, you can sleep anyway. So yeah, it was fine. I was plenty, uh, plenty ripped. Also, speaking of me getting ripped, you guys like this new sweatshirt? Oh my God. I traded the bartender last night for this straight up. My sweatshirt for her sweatshirt. I wanted to buy it. I was like, do you guys sell those? And they were like, sorry, we sold them. And they sold out immediately. We were selling for like 25 bucks. And the end of the night, I was like, she saw me talking about it. I told Sean, I was like, I'm going to go see if she'll trade me my sweatshirt. And she saw me talking. She's like, I would give this to you, but I'm cold. And I was like, I'll trade you mine for yours. She's like, let's go. She said yes instantly. You didn't even finish the sentence. And she was already stripped. Like, yes, let's go. It's a, it's a pretty sick moment. It and was very cool. I didn't realize she must have sprayed this up with a lot of perfume. Can this I get a whiff? Bro, please. Tell me that doesn't smell delicious. Dang, she smells great. Right? Been, we've been away from our uh, wives and fiancés for three days. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that does smell very good. Right? I love that brand. That brand is so sick. I'm, I don't this think is I've the name of the bar. Okay, yeah. I don't think I've ever been more jealous. Dude, it was a pretty yeah. fire move, dude. I do. I fuck this as baggy. I like, and it's like a good this material. Well. Yeah. Damn, that's so sick. What is she at her sleep? I don't know about that. That's the most you thing ever, too. Of like the thing you got was like given to you for free, and it, you had a cool moment with yeah. the bartender. Yeah. I was she Italian? She spoke really good English. Yeah. I wonder if the bartenders at those spots do. Yeah. It's a craft beer bar. We went to these like really cool. That was erotic. It, it says oak like, inside of his mouth in gold, and then that's his face. It's their logo for their bar. Yeah, Oak is the bar that we went to, and it was sick. Mm -hmm. There was these dudes there. Uh, the rugby team was there, and he barely spoke any English, but we kind of – he was like, oh, a yeah. coach, a coach. So we're like, oh, you coach rugby? No, I, I fucking love rugby people. Like, mm -hmm. They go hard. And I started chatting with them because they were – they all had polos. That the one the coach had the collar flipped and had the Italian flag when he flipped the collar. the collar, and it's just like, yeah, they just rugby people would drink hard and they party and they were dancing and they were chanting. It was fucking sick. The bars, like, I mean, it's mainly overseas, but like in Italy, like the the scene last night, it was just like very cool to be out and like everybody is so like like communicative. Like everyone is like talking to each other. It's easier, I feel like, to talk to people here, like last night, than it almost is in America. Like it just felt like there's more of a community. Maybe that's just in my head. That's in your head. Okay. 
That's in your head. Because we, like, we didn't really talk to that many people last night. I just kind of felt like, like they were all talking to themselves. And then people were talking. They weren't talking to us. Maybe it was like the being on that street. It was just kind of It was just a social there. street. Yeah. But yeah. like also you have to think about it. If you're at a college bar at Michigan State and all of a sudden there's some Germans there who are like, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, whatever, yeah. speaking in German. Yeah. You'd probably be like, and they came up to you because we also have to do the instigate. It's not like they're like coming up and instigating. I'm coming up and point. trying. If a German came up to you and was like, "Oh, I'm traveling and I came to your bar," we'd be like, "Dog, oh, come on, let's go." Yeah, you know, it's right. itself. That's a good point. Sorry to shut you down. No, it was you. Uh, you got you gave me the right answer. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, Brett to Mania, what sweatshirt? I don't know how to work with this thing. It's a mouse. Just click. It doesn't. Oh, well, guess it doesn't move. It doesn't move very well. It's like so slow. Moving. I just have the. Like, you, we've talked about that with you. You like a little bit quicker. <laughs> All right, what sweatshirt did you? The get burgundy, on? my like the sweatshirt that I wear all the time, like my main guy. Is there a word? I don't know, because I don't think they'd say it to our face. Yeah, I actually don't know. I do like the word gringo. Yeah, me too. I call people gringos a lot. What's uh, the guy Gaijin? Gaijin is that? I didn't, that's obviously a white person, but is that what the culture? Like that, what culture? Does yeah, it? what culture calls us that? Um, okay, Brent Mania. His uncle played on the first rugby team at BGSU. Bowling Green low key has a great rugby team. Hmm. They were like early, I'm assuming they were like pretty early. Well, there's already, like, even as of now, there's not a lot of colleges that like really rock rugby. Uh -huh. I only know this because there was this family uh, that came to Bowling Green to play rugby. Okay. We called him Boner. His last name's like Bonnick <laughs> yeah. or something like that. It's like B-O-N-E-K. Uh -huh. And he just went by Boner his whole life. And so that's what we called him. And he had transferred to Bowling Green for rugby. Wow. And if you go, this is a dumb rule, but if you transfer to Bowling Green, apparently you have to live in the freshman dorms. Okay. And so he was 21 and had to live in the dorms. And so that's how I knew him because he bought all his kids liquor. It was yeah. Like, I'm sure we were so annoying. But one of those motherfuckers with those jaws that is just ridiculous, just those big, strong jaw, rugby looking people. And uh, yeah, he was one who told us, he's like, yeah, I went to this other school and I, I love rugby. I went to school for rugby. And then this is like one of the schools that like takes rugby really seriously. So yeah. I wanted to come here. And uh, yeah, they're, at least this is what this fucking kid I don't told me. Yeah. What the fuck do I know? But yeah. yeah. Is rugby like a collegiate sport at some schools or is it club? Like there's some schools that like obviously have it. It's like, is it right. in the NCAA? Is it in like a, do you know? It feels to me like it's club, but I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Like, I think even at my high school, lacrosse was like club. Like, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't in the, like, like at Toledo, at University of Toledo, hockey is a club sport. Okay. They don't have an actual hockey. I okay. mean, they have a team. They, right. They treat it like it's like, it's, they treat it pretty real, but I just know it's a club. They're not part of the NCAA. No, that's – yeah, like that's it's exactly like what I was wondering. Yeah. Um, David said he just looked up the spot on Google Maps that looks sick. If you see anywhere that has Canteon beer, try it. See some of their pictures. Okay. I'll make a note of that. It's in my head. Canteon, can Canteon, 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 Canteon. All right, so three times. Um, seriously, we're going to hit the bar scene again tonight. So my first cousins have the same name as you dudes, but they spell it Corey, C-O-R-Y, and Sean, S-H-A-W-N. Must be a Canadian thing. I see the name Sean spelled the other way so often, so, like, I get it. Oh, he's wearing his right. Oh. Damn, it fits him great. It does. I was so worried we got him, like, a size too small or something. You're on the text, too. Okay, that's amazing. We got our manager's uh, dad some sick swag from this um, – record store in Chicago and he just sent us a picture wearing the dusty groove uh, record store shirt so that's really cool Courtney said oh yeah, yeah okay so Japan is the country that calls white people mm -hmm. gains um, we killed over a half a bottle of more Lord yesterday Courtney <laughs> Courtney who was drinking it with you Jafiel said his uncle touched him I'm sorry man there's a lot of therapy you can go to it might help a little bit um, I'm so excited to get into this food here in a little bit here. I said here twice for some reason. I'm going to drop. Oh, man. The Discord has been. Oh, my God. I haven't logged on today. People have been kicking it. Wow. You guys are. Oh, Cordy looks so good in that color. He's got like the. What is that? Like He said it's perfect for Easter. Yeah. Oh, my God. He looks so good. Courtney, you look fantastic, my guy. Jafiel said my uncle touched me. Yeah. Um, funny bit on that. 
my uh, fantasy football team name was, uh, my uncle used to touch down on me. Because, you, you know, you always, try to, <laughs> you always try to incorporate a football lingo. So oh, I was absolutely. like, cool, touchdown. I was like, all right, I got some names. My uncle used to that's touch good. down touch on me. Down. <laughs> I hate that that's so funny. Isn't that great? It's so good. Oh, Courtney and Ange. Ah, you got, dude, you guys are the coolest married couple ever. I love that you guys are <clears> just... <throat> I'll double down on it. You guys are the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> guys just crushing Malort together. Like, I think that's so sick. Stephen O'Daniel. What's up, bro? Uh, peace hey, and well, peace seeker. well seeker. Happy Easter to you. Um, man, we're in Italy for Easter, so this is really cool to be able to hang out with you guys. Um, Stephen O'Daniel, love you so much. I would love to go to Italy one day. Dude, it's, it's unbelievable. Naples is not even close, and it's now it's been decided. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite city I've ever been to in my life. I'm obsessed with this place. It used to be Rome and Madrid as like kind of a tie. Those are both fantastic cities, but Naples is for me. I'm in love with this place. I, you're also going to nut over this comment. Corey, you better have some footage of you walk around town to cool music. <laughs> dude, dude, that's uh, like you telling Sean is like, man, I'm going to have to find so many good songs. <laughs> Because I have so much cool footage and I have to use all of it. It's so fun. Of course. And yeah, I'm gonna have to go on. I'm gonna have to find some fucking cuts. I need some deep cuts, dude. <laughs> Jennifer Lamo, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Thank you. And Jennifer, thank you so much for like always being on these lives. And you've been so like active and all this stuff lately. And it just it means the world. Before you click off hers too. Mm -hmm. Uh being a lab mama, obviously being a pop lover, I'd imagine, unless your Absolutely. child works in a, as a scientist. Bunsen burners and stuff. Um, dude, Naples, one of the coolest parts. This is a, the most dog-friendly place I've been in Europe. All small dogs, so not a lot of labs, but there's so, – I've saw i seen seven Pomeranians since we got here yesterday. There were, yeah, Five it's yesterday. A, it's adorable when Corey sees a Pomeranian because it's almost like – his body goes into like shock and whatever he could be in the middle of a story, middle of a sentence, looking at something else, filming a thing. He just like shuts down and goes, he just I, walks over and goes, I have a plumber in myself. Yeah. Like, just like literally I, every single one, even if they don't speak English, like, okay. okay. Yeah, so far we were out <laughs> yesterday. I talked to every one of them and I kept like, Sean would be in the middle of a story. I'd be like, Oh, hold on. And I just walked, but away. I also get it. Like I if, I saw, if I saw a dog that looked exactly like, Lionel, yeah, we haven't like seen, a, we've we seen a couple that are close. If we see a Parson, no, exactly. Parson Russell Terrier walk by, yeah. I would be the exact same way. <gasps> Lexi, dude, happy Easter. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you so much. It's been I can't wait for you guys to see this content. It's like made for these people. Oh, of course. Steven said he can't wait to see. Uh, you loved hearing about the Italian adventures, dude. It's We got some more drone footage again today. I'm feeling really good about this content that we're shooting for you guys. <laughs> I'm really Thomas. excited. Bunny day. Oh, shit. Bunny day. Dude, if it snowed today in Toledo, it would be just like literally Thomas's dream. <laughs> Snow bunny. If you get a chance to visit Al Antica Vineo, Vineo in Florence, Italy, super famous for the best sandwiches in Italy, stracciata bread, and a huge 12 euro mm. cheap sandwiches. Okay, so that was my pitch to go to Florence. And he said, No, I shut it now down. Now you have to live with us. And, um, and <laughs> I shut it, I mean, I did shut it down, and I'm not afraid to say that I did. I love Florence, but I shut it down because. I just felt like if we're going to go to Italy together. You want to see something new. I know Florence like the mm -hmm. back of my That's head. what I thought would have been cool to like go see it. But I get it. I do get yeah. it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now I'm going to feel bad. Fuck off. If, Fuck if, all of you. If, if Amalfi's weak, I'm going to really make you feel bad. <laughs> Because I really was like pushing, like, dude, fuck Amalfi. Go, I don't care yeah. about fucking beaches. Amalfi was definitely reviews. well because you loving Naples so much and you being like, and this is the place we're at the longest. Thank God I we did three really days for here. Completely agree. Because if we'd done three days in Amalfi and it's boring, mm -hmm. I would have fucking lost my mind. I completely agree, especially with how much I'm obsessed with this. But although, actually, I really wouldn't mind leaving tomorrow. I'm glad we have another day. Me too. But we did like run through we did so much the two days here we've I, we could leave tomorrow i wouldn't feel i agree we're at almost seventeen thousand steps today and eight miles walked which is and it's and we're going out later so we're gonna it's funny when we get back from the bars at like three in the morning we'll have already walked so much after midnight that like it counts for my oh, steps yeah, the next day right. um Anyways, oh yeah, so we're not going to, okay, so I studied abroad in Florence, and I lived there for a super long time in my mind of, like, getting it all. Yeah. So I'm basically- It's in, hard to redo it. And I was kind of like, man, like- You don't come to Europe often. I just, you I was like, what cities can we do 
I'm also, I almost felt guilty that we even did Rome because like I pushed for that too. Cause that's one of my favorite cities. I do. I'm so glad we did it. I don't have a single regret, No, but I just wanted to justify why we, we aren't going to Florence and why we didn't go to Florence. Yeah. It makes sense because you've already done it. Mean, it's hard to get to Italy. So you don't really want to be backtracking. That's basically what time. it is. You don't want to be doing something you've already done. It's like, can I get a new experience? It's like if every single time you flew to the West Coast, you're like, I just always go to Spokane, Washington. Mm -hmm. Like, do go to other places. Yeah, you gotta, I really like Spokane. Yeah, you got. Well, that's how we are. We're like, I some people want to do the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. We like experience. We want to experience everything in the world. That would be like the dream. We're actually and, kicking around going to doing a little day trip to Pompeii tomorrow because we've never been to Pompeii, and it's only like a thirty minute, forty minute train. Pompeii is essentially the suburb. It's the. It's like Ep, not Evanston. It's like Schaumburg of Chicago. Sure. It's, it's a good it's a suburb. I didn't I thought Pompeii was its own place. Like, I definitely did too. Way far away from all cities. I thought it was like, oh, it's here. It's literally the whole time we're just about anywhere where you have a view, mm -hmm. you can see Mount Vesuvius in Naples. I mean, it's the backdrop. It's crazy. So they have Mount Vesuvius National Park and they have some stuff there. So we might go do do a few hours in Pompeii. Because it'd be good for the vlog, it'd be good for the episodes. Like it's just fun that it would diversify like getting as much into the trip as you can. Yeah, you have to. Um, I do like that Alex said fat with a PH, just a shout out. I'm um, thank you, appreciate that you're glad we're having a fat, fat ass time. time. That's sick. Have you guys caught any live local music yet? We have in we Rome. Did. We did. In Rome we went to an Irish bar with some like legitimate Irish, like the whole like violin and that weird drum that they got. Yeah. And we did that night one. So I felt really good about that. That the first night we went out in Rome, yeah, and Sean, we went to a place that had live music. Yeah. And Sean brought up, and he's still right on this. It's a little bit, it's like, it was just weird to be like, hear this Irish music. And then they would, they got done and they talk pure Italian. I expected them to be yeah. Irish and to be like, yeah. Saying, you know, whatever, like, oh, so it's in your butthole or something, uh, yeah. oh. whatever, you know. Does anybody need a refill? Yeah. They were just like, ciao ragazzi, pronto. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Because mm -hmm. they looked at him. They looked Irish. They did. They looked so Irish. It was really wild to see. Brian Hauser, happy Easter to you. Happy Easter to you, uh, bro. Glad to be a part of the Hauser family today. Um, Lexi, can't wait to share all Dude, the content with you. Dude, it's going to be so fire gorgeous here so even last if, night even if we suck the we did a spot there. from someone during our during our live last night uh like later in it mm -hmm. uh i don't even remember what was going on on why we someone donated money we started talking about how we oh they said they wanted us to go and get chinese food that's Italy. right that's right and we were like how about instead of that oh steven it was um steven hall steve was hall it? yeah he donated i feel like oh, it was yeah. like to go get Chinese, Chinese food. And we were like, can we do donor kebabs instead? Right? I think it was Steve Hall. I can look that yeah, up. check the Venmo. Um, but yeah, so we did like, it's just fun. We went and did like a drunk episode last night of a kebab, which we have, you guys know, we've been trying to get donor kebabs in Chicago and failing on repeat. It's been upsetting. David Mother, David Motherly. No, this is a different thing. Oh, that was the one part red wine, one part Coke, which I do want to do for an episode. Oh, okay. Like, a, like an extra little two minute thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we went out and got like a donor kebab, which still didn't, we did a Moroccan one, which Turkish ones are what we're used to. I had never done a Moroccan one. Um, all that to say that these lives impact our decision making and they're fun. And when you guys donate, we might end up filming content because of it. Yeah. 55 and Brian. Is Brian in Ohio? Mm hmm. Um, I'll Brian's tell you where, where my the... uh, mother in law is from. It's, wow, it's 55 here. <laughs> Bro, we're bros. Look at that. It was like, temp bros, dude. It was 65. <laughs> 65 today but in the sun it felt like it was like 75 and then in like oh the windy God. in like the shade it felt like it was like 40. yeah and that it weird? was like this I, my like sweater came out and off like four or five times yeah for real um that's dude 60s on easter courtney how great is that that's for gotta feel really real good. my lab had 15 pups in october it was insane about killed me but all good now kept one his name is stugatz from sopranos look it up lol and that's so fantastic it's incredible jennifer also, man, 15 pups. That's a lot. Ciao, ragazzi. What was the best bite today? Okay. I The pizza, I think. The pizza was mine as well. We had the This pizzeria has been around since 1780. Think about that. 1780. That's insane. It was so cool, you guys. Like, we went in there and, like, we ordered on Uber Eats again because, like, 
we're just trying to be like, you know, flies on the wall. Like we want to like go up and pick it up and we don't want to get bombarded by like the lines and stuff like that. But it was actually kind of chill there today. Yeah. There was no line, but we walked in and we got it and we got to see them using those crazy like wood fired ovens. And it's the first margarita pizza that was ever made. Which if you guys don't know, I'll tell you guys a story. We didn't really honestly tell it on the episode, Mm -hmm. but essentially the ruler of uh, Naples was this woman named um, uh, Margaret. Yeah. Queen Marguerite. Yeah, Queen Marguerite, and so she wanted like a pizza. She like kind of asked this pizza maker, this guy who started in 1780, to actually. I'm sorry, it was not the person who started in 1780. I think it was his like grandkid or something like that, mm-hmm. or someone who worked under him, you know, mentor or whatever. He asked him to like make some pizzas for the country of Italy. So he made three different pizzas, two of which do not. Did not survive. They weren't good enough, apparently, to right. like, still be made. Yeah. And the one that survived is the margarita pizza, which Sean pointed out, I do think, in this video, that it's made for the Italian flag colors, the red, the white, and the green. So that's why you've got the red sauce, the mozz, and then the basil leaf that he puts on there. And it's like I it's hard to put into words like how different the mozzarella and the sauce taste here. Like, not, not that it's that much different. It's just so much higher quality. The flavor just, like, explodes. Like, it's just way more, it just deeper flavors. That's good. Like, we, oh, we got Nickel Nickel. Thomas Corp, scroll down. Click. Oh, we Ooh. missed one. What the hell's going on Sally here? Smith, I'm Hold sorry. on, go to Sally Smith first. Yo. My favorite Italian swear words. I don't know Ooh. any. What's, um... Do we know any? We should look them up. We should read all of them. I feel like we probably heard some today because when we were at uh, that restaurant, they were like, there was a little bit of action going on. <laughs> yeah, I think they were swearing. We just saw one almost fights to yeah, the Italian. Yeah, we did. And then Thomas Corp, 505, happy Easter at ha- ha- everyone. Beer clinking emoji. I'm too high and drunk right now, LOL, plus traveling. I'll catch in when I can, though. Oh. And still uh, just donating, though. Bro, it's so a nice. Of also, you. where are you traveling to? Yeah, hit us with the deets on that. We're going to have to go into Corey um, Mm -hmm. absolute blaze mode here in a second. Um, So anyways, yeah, the best pizza today was definitely the best bite today. The best bite today was Pizzeria Brandy. It was actually really good. In downtown Naples. Yeah. And it was fantastic. All right, speed round. Speed round. Michael, eating just in the UK. I hope you two are all good. And well, dude, Michael, that's another, I love seeing these people that I'm not used to seeing. I love your brother. Yeah. Thank you. Steve Mill, did you see Dave? No, No, not yet. didn't see him. Keeping our eyes open though, bro. (laughs) Jeff Q, happy Easter, my brothers. Happy Easter to you, my guy. Armand, hello and happy Easter. Happy Easter. Enjoy time with your family. Tell your soccer playing dad what's up, what's up. Darth Vapor, what's the best food you've had in Naples so far? To me, it's the first. It's hard because the uh, pizzeria today had meat on it. Mm -hmm. The pizzeria yesterday, I think, was a better pizza but did not have a meat option. I liked the mozz and sauce from yesterday's pizza. Mm-hmm. I liked the pepperoni. I, I'm just a meat guy. I do yes. think a, a little nudge. I like yesterday's better. Okay. But I don't know. It's I go back and forth. I'm going to say that brandy today was my favorite in Naples so I far. I fuck with that. It's just they're both right there, you mm-hmm. know. David Filato, you guys have fun. You all did great work for Jet's Pizza. I own the ones in the city. Oh no, David! Shit. Holy smokes, we need to talk, dude. That's so cool. What is man. your reach in the burbs? I mean, pretty well. We have a lot of fans in the Chicago suburbs. Like, there's a lot of people that comment that are from just outside of Chicago. Yeah. That I know. I mean, it depends on. It's all relative. What's I'm saying a here? lot is like I know a few dozen. I was just saying we, we <laughs> probably have like, if I'm being dead honest, we probably have like two to three hundred Chicago fans so that watch have, every video. So we don't have a yeah that watch every single video. Mm-hmm. So that's not a huge reach. I just want to be I'm an honest guy. But I could, I could bullshit you and try to get a sale and be like, out of our forty thousand, twenty five thousand of them. Are, <laughs> but I'm not gonna bullshit. It's, no, it's, but it's a few hundred. Yeah, that's true. We're I mean we're kind of a lean and mean. Like we're not. It's not thousands and thousands of people in every city. You know what I mean? So yeah. like I get it, but. That's so cool that you own the but Jets in the city. We will do shit for uh, like relative to our audience. We will price things out. So if you want to sponsor something, we'll just find a number that makes sense. For, we'll do, yeah, let's do some Jets videos. Because we make no money off our videos. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you, we, we'll find a price that works if you're interested. I just like being honest. I, I just, I'm, I'm not a good salesman. I'm too honest. You're honest, I'm like, whatever. Here's what it is. Anyways, Steve and Dan, the last time I went to Chicago, we went to Schaumburg for Medieval Times. My brother, funny story, for my birthday, we were going to go get beers, and then he was like, he really loves Medieval Times. And then for my birthday, he was like, hey, great idea. Why don't we switch and do this? Medieval Times. <laughs> I forgot about that story. Like, 
You want to do what you want to do for my birthday? No. Like, I think he probably go get a beer. He probably thought you were going to really like it. I know, which idea. is surprising because it does not seem like something I would It doesn't. Into. That's interesting to me that he did say that. But. Yeah, but I do love him. BT Warmer, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, my brother. David Filato. Sorrento is great. You guys should check it out. Too. I've been to I Sorrento. Wish we had time. I've been to Sorrento. I did Fourth of July weekend in Sorrento because all my friends were all like, "We missed home because we had been gone for a couple months." Mm -hmm. So we went and did the most like uh, American, the American like Fourth of July we could. We camped and like it was just like blew off fireworks and like just it was got drunk in the woods. Yeah, like yeah. you know, it's it's a, that's a spot that uh, my friend that does, he's a uh, stand up comedian and he does cruise ships, mm -hmm. which is like kind of a big deal. It's awesome. Yeah, that's definitely a big deal. And um, he said to go to Sorrento. <laughs> Because uh, he, yeah. he does cruise ships around the area. So, anyways, Jeff Q. Sadly, I won't be able to follow up the live today. Easter with my daughter is on the agenda. Have a kid, dude. Hey, Jeff, we love you, brother. Do you have fun with your daughter? We'll see you yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Well, Bangs are awesome. I had the best croissant the other day, but it was in Michigan, dude. I I will say this: a lot of the times, it doesn't matter where you are for greatness. One of the best pizzas I've ever had in my life was in Phoenix, Arizona. But so it's like for being the best. So but like it's one of those things where like people don't go like, oh yeah, you gotta go to Arizona for the pizza. That's true. So that's true. like don't ever I don't to your point, don't feel bad that you like to think from like a state that's not known for the thing. That's right. That's my thought. That's Rich my Roberts. Happy Eastern B ish. Everything closed there? No. Surprisingly not. David Flato, DM me. We okay, we will. We'll figure something we out. We will, I promise. Uh BT Warner, I spent 50 yesterday to you for beer via paper. No shit. Let me go ahead and check that real quick. Bro. BT, I didn't see that. I'm sorry. BT, we would have gave you a shout out. Fuck, man. Yeah, absolutely. The, dude, our, well, he probably knows. Yesterday, our, we were just having Wi Fi issues. So we, you know, it, we, we did we the, may have just not seen it come through because our Wi Fi has been kind of fucked. Yeah, we did the live in the room back there and it, the, it's too far from the router. Yeah, the so router kind of messed up some stuff. That's why we're doing it out in the kitchen to start today. We, we did that about like, two hours into our thing last night and uh everyone said it's so much better so we're figuring it out slowly but surely um while you check that i'm just going to keep on rolling please do uh we got lexi lexi says it's cool because italy obviously is a hard place to get and you're reviewing food there's so awesome plus all our like the fake influencers yours will be dude exactly yeah sure That's well. I just we don't lie we just no. like being fucking honest as hell he did he yesterday sent 50 bucks on paypal oh my god um, Brent, I'm so sorry we didn't see it. I don't know how. Yeah, we, how did we not get an email? Hey, real quick. Yeah, let me clap for you. BT Warner, take a fucking big old slick to, to a real G. The good news is, is we're drinking beers every night, so you're still going to be buying us beers. Nick Ellis, Nick Ellis, what's up? Happy Easter. We have one day in Naples. What do we do? This is great because he's going with the fam, or he's, at least with his wife. One know. day in Naples. One day. You must, 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 must go through Old Town. Old Town is yeah. amazing. Watch our food reviews and then just like you can figure out what food makes the best sense for you because you'll know your guys' taste. So I'd say like watch those videos for that. Mm -hmm. And then um, in terms of like things to do. I, we went to the uh, the Royal Palace today. Palace which was really awesome. It was 10 euro a person and it was gorgeous. And it was like really, it was just like really casual. It was like easy to go through. Everything was like just fun to look at. Really, I mean, every room was different, and just royalty as fuck. Pretty like, sick. We like that a lot. We we haven't fully. We'll experience a few more things tomorrow. We'll we'll, we'll give you a better yeah. Well, because Nick, I'll obviously text you because Nick's one of my groomsmen at my yeah, wedding. Yeah, yeah. But um, I we're gonna go to the top of the city tomorrow, and like that's supposed to be incredible. Mm -hmm. There's a castle up there, and you can see the full panoramic of the city. It's supposed to be, which I've heard. We can't do that at night because usually we're doing these at mm -hmm. sun or at sunset, I should say. Mm -hmm. I read that going up to the top of the city at sunset because this uh, the water, the city faces west, right? And so obviously, sunsets in the west. It's a place to be for sunset. So we won't be able to show that or see that. Yeah, but I've heard that. Uh, oh, Matherly, my bad, bro. The laptop's a little far away. Um, I, I will get that right in the future. Show. Rick Roberts, you guys should hide some Sixer gear in Italy. Funny, funny enough, we've been doing that. So I brought three. Sean's idea. I brought three stickers to to post up in the three cities we're going to. So we oh, put, wait. We put one in Rome. Oh no, we already did that. Never mind. Never we, mind. We put one in Rome, um, kind of near the like Spanish Steps and the Trevi Fountain. You'll see it in a video. And then we're gonna put one tomorrow uh, in Naples. Mm -hmm. We kind of have a spot in mind for that. You'll see that in a video. And then we have one. We have one for Amalfi. 
which is going to be really cool to put that there. And then we also are going to do a bonus little drinking thing in Amalfi as well for the vlog, for the episodes, and then also like very Chicago roots. Sing a You're getting off track. What do you mean? And Start doing... talking about drinking. Tell them more about the scavenger. Like, you're going to give a prize and shit. Oh, okay. So if you end up seeing the, if you end up seeing the sticker, I thought you were getting distracted. I'm sorry. Well, I forgot. I forgot about the, uh, <laughs> the prize thing. The to be honest. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then if you see the sticker and you take a picture with it, um, we're gonna send you some gear. We're gonna I send you some stuff. Move. So it's like if you're by the Spanish Steps in Rome and you take a photo with the number sixty cheese sticker, uh, we're gonna send Is you that a bottle here? of sixer sauce. Yeah. Shh. I mean, there. What is that? We're just gonna walk around the whole city. All right. Cool. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Sure, Anyways, sure. we will we will definitely drop clues because you're gonna know right. You're gonna kind of know where it is. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we were doing story time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nancy Remley. Nancy Remley. Do you know her? She comments all the time and donates to us on Super Thanks. She'll do like big amounts. Oh, Nancy Keith. Nancy I'm like, Keith. I just oh, Nancy, I just always I say like Remley because yeah. she on YouTube her name is just Nancy. Nancy Remley. Wait. Her Nancy, Nancy Keith on YouTube. No, I think it's just Nancy Remling. I've never seen Nancy Remling on YouTube. Have oh, I? I think so, definitely. I think her name on YouTube is Nancy Remling. Her picture's different on YouTube than that picture. I feel like I've seen Nancy. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know why I don't recognize that. Well, Nancy, I do love you. Text, happy Sunday to, to any fellow Jews here. <laughs> That's funny. Is it more of a celebration? Well, it's not a celebration. Friday is the big celebration. Right, because yeah, because there's like isn't like the Jesus thing is different for Jewish people, right? Well, what they do don't mean? Jewish Jesus is God for Friday right? for, for wait what isn't Jewish faith J Jesus is God? Are you fucking out of your mind? Well, I don't know that religion that well. What's there? So you think we pray to the same God, us and Jews? Well, we do pray to the same. No, God. we have a, we have God. Is Jesus is God's son? Doesn't don't Jewish people believe that Jesus is God? Oh my okay. God! I want then, I, I just okay, don't know. For someone who knows, mm -hmm. this is very obvious. That's why I'm. Yeah, tell me. That's why I'm. No, seriously. I like the reason know. that I'm so surprised is what you just said is the most absurd thing. If you oh. if you do know it, that is the opposite of what it is. Okay, so that's what <laughs> that's what Catholics believe, bro. Catholics believe Jesus is God. You know that, right? It's the Holy Trinity. Well, no, Jews Catholics... don't think he's God. They think that he's a prophet. If okay. they thought he was God, they're waiting for okay. the return of God. The, you want the God to return, right? Jesus, Catholics think that God returned, Jesus. Jews, there is scripture that says that there's, you know, I'm going to send someone and to come back. Right. They're like, well, we believe that God's going to send someone. He just hasn't done it yet. Right. Okay. So if they thought that he was God, then they would be Catholics. I think I haven't thought about this stuff in so long that I, like, that I genuinely forgotten what the actual like, yeah, yeah, yeah. lineage of everything it's is. What you said was about the most absurd thing that one could say. And I felt very guilty in the moment. <laughs> like I could feel your energy and I was like, oh, I'm so wrong. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, really yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't feel bad. It was just it was a hilarious thing. <laughs> to say that Jews think Jesus is God is pretty hilarious. It's the complete Well, now I feel it. bad. I don't no, want to, I why don't do you feel it. bad? I should, well, I, was, I should know because I grew up Catholic. Bro, you got Catholic. You, what you have right now is called Catholic guilt. Okay. <laughs> I, I appreciate you bailing me out because I no. was like, I feel like I'm so sorry for getting this wrong, you guys. No, no, it's funny. I'm sure they're all entertained by it. It's very, it's a funny thing to say. Um, what did Thomas say about something so long ago about Pittsburgh? He's traveling. Just, oh, right. Just to Pittsburgh. Oh, no. Uh, Perrysburg. Perrysburg. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's what's up. Uh, Medi two three. Are you guys going to coast breakdown? Do a cost break. Cost breakdown trip would be cool to see what goes into. That's a fun idea. We didn't do that, but that's a fun idea. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, we could probably do that. Yeah, we could. We could like think about that, or even just kind of mention roughly like what it costs for. Yeah, because ours, you know, we're eating. Yeah, I don't know. I actually think we're doing a really good job here of not spending money on really anything frivolously. It's crazy how I mean, we brought this up like. Every live, well, not in every live, maybe, but every video we record just about food is way cheaper than we would have expected. It's blowing our minds. Way affordable. When Corey and I go out so and film under budget for sure. three episodes for the show in a day, like we do a fast food, that'll cost, let's say, like we get two new McDonald's burgers or like a, a Burger King thing, right? That'll probably be like 12 or 13 bucks, like two burgers. And then we'll go to a local place and that could be as much as like 40, oh. 50 bucks. On and then average, have, what do you think? Third, yeah, on average, probably twenty-five to thirty. Right, and then we'll do another one. So, like, we will spend like a hundred and 
maybe 20 bucks every week we do food and then we do those grocery store runs and those can be so like we are by far spending less money to do, do food Chicago. reviews here yeah not even close um it's very Most interesting local foods here cost less than the fast foods we the fast food we order right absolutely it's fucking crazy we split unless a pizza it's little today. caesars we split a pizza today for like five dollars and fifty cents it's just we don't that's not a thing yeah like when we get a one of those local pizzas in chicago and we get a 14 inch they can be like 29 dollars oh bro yeah or more dude coal fire i think it's 32 right like yeah and those like those bigger like demos yeah, pizzas are like 30 right and we don't tip here really so it's not part of culture rob urban continue to be safe love Cheers, you. Rob, well. brother uh Darth vapor get a pasta a la bangoli before you leave i'm italian clam pasta mm -hmm. with oh, that sounds so good i do i think so we're, we're gonna try to shoot a, a pasta episode tomorrow yes. so these are great recommendations yes uh rob Irvin, i'm also proud you're not eating a ton of pasta that's we'll funny yeah we, we, it's not we gonna be a ton oh, the beard i see it aaron bowman, aaron bowman. 10 what's it say you, you guys, guys are so bad you guys are doing this trip bro i'm we're so excited for you guys to see this all right, oh, we gotta okay. we gotta really get in a blaze. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. we're so far behind. I kind of when stories. we start to do stories, it's we start, hard. To, yeah, we just we're, we're talkers. Lisa Anderson just got back from successful trip oh. to Meyer. Posted very exciting haul <laughs> at this. I like a awesome. good haul photo. Lean weightlifting machine. Happy Easter, handsome gentlemen. Happy Easter to you, Contessa. Hey yo, hope Italy's good. You it's been so great, Lisa Anderson. Megan, handsome gentlemen, are you in the right life, Lisa? You're hilarious. <laughs> uh, that's funny. She's probably crying laughing. Yeah, I'm uh, very happy Easter to you, BT. That was for the, the donation. There, I did um, see a spray paint. We see spray painted ghost twice. Riley Smiley, happy Easter, my boys. Me and my neighbor. Ran an Easter egg hunt for the kids this morning, filled a bunch of eggs with life advice, Hot Wheels, miniature Reese's, and free movie die training vouchers. <laughs> You're doing God's work. Riley Smogden, they had a blast. It was nice. Courtney Basinger, the smog has arrived. Happy Easter, boy. Oh, LMAO, no. Oh, oh, dear. Corey nailed it. Ha, ha. My bad. Didn't mean to open a can of theological. <laughs> it's all right. It's just because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Uh, I'm a Christian Catholic, I believe. It. Nice. Uh, mukbangs are awesome. I'm still confused about okay, that. Yeah, that makes me feel better. Yeah. Uh, and Drew Sproul, I believe the Catholic churches you went to are announcing their courses. <laughs> <laughs> David Matherly, nailed it. I'm a genius. Have any issues with things being open today? Surprisingly not. Chris Cotton, wow, that got fabulously deep really fast. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Mukbangs are awesome because at one point, Jesus prays. Uh, Darth Vapor, we're going to compare some video of the cities you went to, what you prefer and why. They're all amazing, so probably not. Yeah. Brian, uh, go to Moler. Can't, I'm, everything is, I got an Italian. Moher. Yeah. Uh, can't talk about religion and politics while drinking. <laughs> yeah, that's, <good. laughs> that's funny. Yes, truth. Mm -hmm. uh, Lego Patent Films. Hi, guys. How are you doing today? I'm doing, doing very well. Great, man. Lisa Anderson. Wow. Can't get over the food prices. It really is unbelievable. Blows our minds. Scorpion Heat Sinker. Do you have any chicken parm? Or is that a very American, American, thing. American only? <laughs> Super American. Thomas Corp. Still got to find a butt ice. They come in three bags. He figures it's any custody, <laughs> right? I need to find these boys. Retomania. Have you seen the calcium? Absolutely. Went there day one. Mm -hmm. Darth Vader, the Jews, of Jesus is a false son of God and basically got him crucified. Brother. Yes, exactly. Okay. That was the whole reason. Yes, You're absolutely right. Cold. My bad. Uh, Lego pad and films. Thank you. Dog is a bit lonely <laughs> while you guys are gone. They got the girls. Yeah, they, they got, got the girls there. They're sure trying. they mess us. They yeah, I us. hope so. What's the plan today? You caught up. So, nice, dude, nice job. Thank you. That was so good. Um, the plan today, in terms of the live, is eat some charcuterie board, drink some beers, and then what our plan is the lives happen at night because we're so many hours ahead, and then we always just end up going to the bar afterwards. Guys, it's 8 16 at night on, on Easter evening. So we're going to go to the bar after this. So if, if you mean, what are we doing like after this? Yeah, do this and then drink and then go back to the bars again. Yeah. The pre the fourth night the during the day has been like, basically we went to the palace and it was awesome. Um, looked so cool. And then we went down to the water and then we went and got a spritzer uh, yeah. or is it spritz. Aperol spritz. Spritz, got some drinks. Just kind of walked around that beaut. The old town Naples is unfucking believable. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah, I forgot about the theater. Guys, look at this cool theater we saw today at the palace. These like beautiful red seats and like look at that the walls and the, look at the ceiling. This is like what this place looked like. We just had the coolest time at this. And Corey didn't lose the ticket, so that was good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great fit, by the way, to do this really inside joke. That they, just like true. Um, 
Damn, it's 116 here. I know. Time change is crazy. <laughs> How's it been? People actually, I'm surprised how many people are asking about that. Yeah, they they thought you were like sleeping in a horror movie thing. I think it's more so yeah. than it was. It's, well, you we said you, you were out I like thought a maybe light. I thought it was small. Oh right, I did look up there and it looked like your feet were close to the edge there. Like yeah. you didn't feel like you were like yeah, you but if you're stretch close out. to the edge, does it really matter unless you're over the edge? That's a great point. You, you, know? can, you continue. That's a problem. If you're close to the edge, are you? Does it really matter? Because you're not over the edge. It's kind of a problem. <laughs> it sounded I good. I do it out of my dick, you know. <laughs> That's gorgeous, Sean. I know it was very, very pretty. I was blown away by how nice it was. Just cracked the first rolling rock of the day, Courtney. What the fuck are you doing? It's only one. <laughs> you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Uh, Lego Patton Films, beautiful interior. Sure was. How's the weather? Devin, it was an absolutely beautiful weather day. We arrived yesterday, it was pouring rain, and then it got nice. Today, it was pretty much nice the entire day. Like, in the sun, it felt hot, and in the shade, it was cold, so you kind of had this, like, fun back and forth thing, but, like, overall, felt real good about the weather. Corey's about to smoke a pound when he gets back to the States. Dude, that's funny. I told that to Sean, because we have so much editing, that I'm about to be... It's going to be, I feel like it's going to take me all week to edit everything. Yeah, it's a lot. It's really going through the footage, too, and, like, the uploads and the title. It's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be smoking mad weed to get through all that. I'm on my fifth Bud Ice Tallboy. Hey. This guy's a fucking legend. I love Thomas, dude. Can I open that? Yeah, look, I, this is what I was waiting for the, um, to send the text out, was when we were actually going to do this. So okay. I wanted to get a new wave of people in. We actually haven't ate much today. No, we haven't. I was also thinking about that. Which will make for some good drunk eat. Oh my god, dude, that Bro. looks so good. Oh my god, guys. Alright, you guys ready for a Corey Wagner second angle? Bam. This is too bright. You go up. Like no, go above it, but like just there you go. Perfect. Alright. Ooh, that's a movie. Do said. Oh my god. Here, let me hold that and we can kind of take them through roughly what we got here. Okay. We've got prosciutto, we've got salami, we've got uh, buffalo milk mats, sun dried tomatoes, and olives and olive oil. Oh, and provolone. Yeah, it's a provolone in there too. It's absolutely gorgeous, dude. I'm so excited to feast on this. This is great with like drinking um, and then like we kind of hung out and then now we can like have these. We each got one of these, by the way. I've got my own. Oh, yeah. I've Which got my own. I'm not going to have as much of a, like the olive oil of yours probably. I don't really have the olives. Right. And you can have my prosciutto. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's oh, cool. people are food for it. Dude, doesn't it look too? It was, we went to like an authentic, like Napoli, like deli too, like a butcher. Yeah. It was awesome. Your dad would have been so jealous. Oh, he would have loved it. He would have been. He's gonna be so happy for us doing this. Mm. I gotta get some. Sorry, I'm standing up because I'm gonna get some photos for the gram. You know how it is. Mm. Mm. Guys, I gotta eat with some of this. Pro I've never had provolone like this. This provolone is different than any provolone I've ever seen. Absolutely, it's so different. And I want some of these. I love sun dried tomatoes. This doesn't really necessarily seem like a thing I'd be into. No, it's like they just it. It takes all the gooiness. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I think what you don't like about tomatoes is like the texture and the wateriness. Mm -hmm. You like the flavor of like to what tomatoes can bring. Mm -hmm. It's just the growth. I get it. Mm. You guys, look at this Italian this is charcuterie board. <laughs> I got all mm. this different stuff in here. It looks incredible. We're doing it right now on a YouTube live with all the Sixers and uh, pretty psyched. Come on in. Do you want some content? This is too much. This flavor is so overpowering. I'm not, <laughs> gonna, I'm not gonna eat much of this. Oh, it's just like so, so like. This intense. flavor is a lot. I'm gonna do some of this uh, salami here. I have a little bit of the meat, the box. I'm a little bit oh, wow. of the but. Mm. I mean, that quality. So, a lot of you guys know I'm a huge green olive person. Are these. Mm. What did um, I say? Not pitted. What? That's just too much flavor. It's like so rich. It's so overpowering. It's great. Dude, mm. these are so good. I wish I could. Oh, wow. 
Dude, the, wow, the like pit comes out so easily. Damn. Mm. Wow, dude. That yeah, that has so much flavor. Oh my god. It's like decadent. Oh, Coriam, what's up, dude? What's up, Coriam? Yeah, you keep eating. I'll, I'll I'll make sure I'm on the. So many people saying how good everything looks. <laughs> the charcuterie, let's go! Oh my god, that's so that olive is so salty. Wow, that is rich. <laughs> yeah, this is like insane. This is some good food. I do kind of want to eat. It's like buffalo, like it's mozzarella. Mm. I'm a guy who throws these. Wow. Are the, mm. the tomatoes are almost sweet. Oh yeah, I gotta try a sun dried tomato. How do you guys feel about sun dried tomatoes? You fam? Wow, that's. Mm. Hell Does yeah. that taste sweet to you? Yeah, like it's yeah. almost like a fruit. It's like candy. Yeah. Mm. Show you guys again. People popping in here. Are you gonna eat all that? Um, not all of it. I'm wondering if I should put this in the fridge and get this out of my space. Put it in the fridge, yeah, absolutely. And if you want any of this, I'm, I'm done. I might have some of it later, like after the bar, unless you will. I don't think I will. I okay. think it's too rich for me. We got this, like, look at this thick provolone. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah, right? I've never seen Pro in that thick. Oh my god, you know what? Mm -hmm. Awesome Sixer sauce? Yeah, you have it in your bag? Yes, I do. We got hotter Sixer sauce. That's going to be so good on this cheese. Oh my god, dude. So obsessed with green olives. Like, this was such a late in life thing for me, by the way. Like, I did not like green olives until I was like 30. I don't know what happened. Mm. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm getting caught up on comments here. Oh my god, dude, I'm in heaven. Aquarium does green olives with salami on pizza. I bet it's pretty good. That's my kind of shit. Mm. Hell yeah. Oh, Michelle Hammonds. What's up, dudes? What's up, Michelle? Said so have a great time. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. You see, you know, Daniel loves sun dried tomatoes. They're so good. Think Italy is winning the food wars, or do you guys think it's a stalemate between what us and Chicago? Oh, oh, we got a donation. Oh, hold on, Derek Pedro. What's up, brother? What's up, D Money? I hope your uh, Easter is going good, dude. That prosciutto is incredible. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, <clears throat> I think it is kind of a stalemate. If the food was between Italy, I mean, if you factor price in I was going to say, Italy's got to beat on price. Yeah. That's expensive in Chicago, dude. Mm -hmm. We can't do what we're doing right now in Chicago. Like, we couldn't, like, just, well, maybe we could, but I more so mean, like, the would, price would be so different. Yeah, the price would be so different. I think Italy's food is, like, fresher tasting. Yeah, I think so, too. That's, like, the thing, right? Like, that's all the pizza and stuff. It's, like. Like, I honestly still like American pizza. I'm not, they're just two different things. You can't really necessarily compare them. I completely agree. But I, there's just times where I want, I want something greasy and nasty. Yeah. And like when I crave pizza, because I grew up with American pizza, I wouldn't always want like Roman or Neapolitan style. Yeah. Like sometimes I want just traditional like pizza, pizza in America. And there's, I don't think there's anything wrong pizza, with that. Pizza, pizza. That's how much you're like, <laughs> you're such a Detroit boy. Is that wild? No, but I just want pizza, pizza. Hotter Sixer sauce on some provolone. That's got to be good. Mm -hmm. I feel like that will balance it out a little bit, too. So good. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm. Um, but, yeah, it's <clears throat> they're different, but it is kind of a stalemate because Chicago's food scene is dumb good. It's so great. Like, I think, I think it's still, like, the best like, food city in the country or in the city. Plus in the Western in Hemisphere. States. In the yeah. Western Hemisphere. Yeah. Well, I was going to say this, guys. A lot of people don't know wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. How's the hemispheres work? It's oh, like Western is like all wait. of North America, South America, and... Hemisphere? Yeah. There's Doesn't like... the hemisphere go up and, like, isn't... Isn't there a Northern Hemisphere and a Southern Hemisphere? They don't really do Eastern and Western Hemisphere. Oh, right? yeah, they do. Like, 
like Western Hemisphere and Eastern Hemisphere is still a thing. Oh, I'm gonna Google it. Tell There's me. also North and South, but like I'm saying, like if you're splitting the line more in the middle of like, you're really saying like America, all the Americas, and then all of South America, and then Eastern Hemisphere. I'm pretty sure is like Europe, Africa, Asia. Okay, that's my guess. But I was also really wrong with the Catholic stuff earlier. So we don't know. Shawnee a dumbass sometimes. Okay. I, this is really doing a lot for me right now. This is like, it's also really nice to have like small bites of things where I can like eat this over the course of time. Mm -hmm. mm. That's salami. Huh. Oh, great. Mm. Who's in the Eastern Hemisphere? Well, okay. Outer six or sauce works with Italian charcuterie boards. I mean, this is why it gets funky because the Western Hemisphere has Africa, but then the Eastern Hemisphere also has Africa. Oh, interesting. Where's the line? Because it's like where the line splits or something? I think they. I can also just re. I think it's harder. To, I think it's harder to do it east west. I think that's why it's usually north south because you have the equator. Okay. To I, split it. I don't I was think, gonna say I can also I, change the thought I had. I think what you're it. trying to say is there's the Americas and then there's like Europe and Asia. Yeah, absolutely. I think like Chicago though, like top to bottom, I think is the best food city over that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like there's foods that are fantastic in other places, but um anyways, I like how we got so intense on that. What are the prices like for the alcohol at the bars? Probably pretty spot on. on. Pretty comparable, mm -hmm. I think, to America. Might be like, a little bit more expensive just because of the conversion rate. Yeah, but I mean, pretty spot on. Nothing like not way cheaper and not way more by any means. Megan, one twenty three. Now it's hello, Ciao. Um, okay, Maddie thinks it looks good, dude. It is good, man. Black olives with pepperoni, green with salami. Also, the dried tomatoes. I don't have a strong opinion on. Oh, okay. Mouth watering, drizzle olive oil. So it does have like an oily feel because the olive olives, for the sure. olives mm -hmm. were in oil, so like that kind of like seeped into some mm -hmm. of the cheeses. And then with this hot sauce, it gives it like the meats a little bit more of the like some sauciness to it. But yeah, I actually almost asked them if they had to go olive oil. They like brought that up in there. Taste explosion. It really is everything here. Daniel Jensen, ooh, in the house. What's up? Hit it with that sixer sauce. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Chicago is expensive and so are the property taxes, but it was here or Utah. And my sister lives in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. So that was another factor. I'm getting ready to go meet her in Milwaukee. Ooh, I love Milwaukee. That's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Easter dinner in Milwaukee. That's great. That's Megan. nice. Um, for a major American city, the cost of living in Chicago is actually quite reasonable. Absolutely. I think so too. It's, on, it's not even – like if you're comparing it to L.A. and New York, in my opinion, it's unbeatable. I agree. It's unbeatable. Yeah. Um, Michelle, I don't, I have not seen, we actually talked about this before we left. I haven't seen a muffaletta in Italy. So that's a New Orleans thing for sure. So like, I, I was going to be shocked if any, like America, they were going to try to do yeah, Americanized. I think it's an American take on some Italian Definitely. stuff. It's Definitely. not an Italian thing. Definitely. Sure. I haven't seen any, um, muffaletta sandwiches in Italy yet. <clears throat> hey, damn, I Big John. Big John, what's up, dude? I mean, look, I'm going to be honest with you. Wait, wait, wait it, dude, it's just all relative. Uh -huh. If you're comparing it to Toledo or something, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. But when you're comparing it to major cities, I'm telling you, Chicago is very, 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 very reasonable. Right. Yeah. Oh, sugar. When you compare it to that, it's cheap. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, I uh, I don't know if we talked about this recently, like on one of those lives. But I'm actually thinking about like moving to a new apartment. So now I'm in that whole like really seeing what you can get now. If like the you know the things price have gone, gone up, up a little, like yeah, a substantial amount. I guess mm -hmm. you know that's that's also part of it, right? Like right, rental. Are, are you seeing that the rental prices are a little bit tougher? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. When will the video Italy videos come out? The Italy videos will come out two weeks from tomorrow. 17th? No. No, that's the week we get back. So then plus uh -huh. 7, 24th. So we have <clears throat> regular videos already scheduled and ready from the yeah. 17th through the 21st. The first Italy video will drop on the 24th. Nice yeah. Nice job. I tried that burger shot and a beer. 
that burger is amazing. Where was that at? Burger a beer. Like was that at a specific place? You saying? Is, are she talking Loyalist? about um, Loyalist? I was thinking, uh, what do they call that? At the place that's closed? Or no, that's pizza shot and beer. That place that closed in West in Wicker. That's pizza, not a burger. Pizza shot and beer. What am I thinking of? What um, is that? Why can't PBR, I? PBR, right? Don't they? Didn't they call that pizza a beer? I'm trying to think what place it is. We did it one time for the show, and we were underwhelmed. You in, told in me Wicker Park. You told me about it when you when I first moved, or when we first started kicking it. I feel like. God, why can't I think of what it is? Why am I totally Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a big pizza joint in Wicker Park that's now gone. They in oh. Wicker Park. She's talking about Oshaval, but. You got it, Megan. You have to think. It has to be. The Loyalist has the the burger shot and a beer special on Tuesdays. Um, oh yeah, that's yeah yeah. That's probably what it's she's twenty talking. bucks for a, the best one of the best burgers in the city and a shot of whiskey. Not peace. It's right by where that train stop was. Oh um oh my god yes um kind of you're I'm so sorry I didn't remember that um it's gone now yeah it's called. Because it's where if you showed your ATM receipt to the bartender, they'd give you a shot. Okay. That, that's the thing. I never did it before. And now they're closed. It starts with a B. It's on the tip of my tongue. Boiler room. Boiler room. We got there. Boiler room. Oh, this drink is really messing up my brain. Huh? Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, they just recently closed. That was a huge bummer. I liked that place a lot. Yeah, a lot of people did. Um, they did have the beer uh, shot in a, in a beer. In a, wow, I'm an idiot. A beer, pizza, beer, and a shot. She's so majestic. Ooh, a good black and white photo of her too. That she's already no. black and white. Oh, I thought it was a black and white photo. Yeah, that's color. Oh my god, it does, it does it like that looks so black. Wow, that's except wild. for this little chunk down here. If you does she love me, the balcony? Oh my god, she yeah. loves. She's, it. I feel like she loves the balcony. Guys, look at this fresh buffalo mozzarella from Italy with a little bit of hotter Sixer sauce because why not, dude? You know, when in Naples. Rest in peace, boiler room. Mm, mm, Check mm, those. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Are you in heaven? Yeah, I'm so happy right now. I get mad. Yeah, 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 bro. What kind of sandwiches have you seen? There's a lot of a lot of sandwiches, honestly. There's like there's those places you walk into. Not as many as where they, they have them pre built. It's not you know? American. No, no, no. It's you not know, like, like America's yeah. full of sandwiches. It's not like that. No. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, there's kind of been a lot, right? I think so. I think it's been like, like even the place we went to today, they had sandwiches. I saw that, like on the pictures. They did. did you see that? Yep, they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're they're prevalent. You can definitely eat some sandwiches here. What did, have you seen any sandwiches that like stuck out at all? Because we haven't really reviewed any. Yeah, nothing that like because I always see those kind of pre-built ones in those cases. Where they'll have like the meat mm. and like on the bigger bread and like, like those are pretty common. Like the Italian sandwich, like you would get. At yeah, there's like more there, or there, like prosciutto, and those are great. But like, there's not really that special where like you know it's like worth doing. Um, I don't know. Nothing that's like jumped out where I'm like, oh, we have to get this sandwich. That pork head in Rome was just so good. Yeah, and that was a little bready, but the fuck meat, the meat was hot. Put that on some softer bread. Oh. <laughs> My favorite thing about Boiler Room was the Jameson soft serve. They did have Jameson ice cream. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that has an alcohol content or like Jameson flavor? No, it had booze in it. Cool. Yeah. Oh, Thomas McDonald's on here. What's, What's up, up, Thomas? <laughs> no, we haven't. We, we haven't given any six or six random people. That's funny. We should. It'll smoke them out. Hot sauce is kind of not a thing here, no? I haven't seen it. Personally, right? I have not seen it. I wonder if they have the olive oil here. Sometimes yeah. they have like leftovers. Sure, stuff. yeah, it happens in hospitals all the time. I feel like um, Michelle wants to know. Okay, so where exactly are you staying, traveling to? She has some people she could hit up. So right now we're in Naples, the greatest city in the universe, and then uh, we'll be here tomorrow, which is Monday, and then Tuesday we'll be going uh, to the well, to the Malfi goes, but specifically to the city of Malfi. And then we'll be there for two days. So we'll be there Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Yeah. And then we're going to be cruising back then to Rome. Which is actually kind of exciting. So we can really like 
really hit something we haven't didn't see. The Vatican, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Right. Um, yeah, it closed early when we the day we went to go because it's Good Friday. And then we'll leave Rome on Friday, like a little afternoonish. Yeah, we uh, we fly back at one o'clock, so we'll have to be at the airport at ten. Good time to like leave. Like we can I think so we don't have to get up dumb at like butt, mm-hmm. butt ass early, butt ass early. I would have honestly, if we had like let's say a seven a.m. flight, I would say we just pull all nighter, like drink until. Yeah, because otherwise you got to get up at what? You got to be at the airport at like four thirty. Yeah, just drink until you, and then go to sleep there. Airports recommend that if you're flying internationally, you get there three hours early. Yep, I saw that. Oh, yeah. Touch my soft bread. Wink, wink. <laughs> Too personal. I love that these lives, I see people that I don't see comment. I agree. I totally agree. I mean, we've talked about this a couple of times on these lives, and you think about it. We're getting 3,000 views and 100 comments. Yeah, right. There's, like, so many people who, like, hang out with us every day that we just... They don't comment, which we, I get it. I get it, too, but I like... I want that relationship. Right, your show. I do too. Like, you know, Lester Love from the videos. Like, we want to know you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> dude, <laughs> look at this motherfucker. This dude's G-person. hilarious. Where have you been, bro? G, What's please up, dude? Keep making us laugh. Okay. Really. Oh, sorry, Stephen. So, he did say that there's a Jameson slush in Memphis. That sounds so good. For, is it a couple of Irish lads? Guys, there was this bar in Andersonville, which is like north of where Corey lives. And they had a Jameis, uh, they had a Malort slush oh for a while, God, a few no years kid. ago, and it was so gross, but so fun. But like, dude, every drink you're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so fun. It's and so like when you'd funny. order one, they were like, like yeah, you really want this? In Rome, you'll find the Asso Buco. And that's like a hot sauce? The ass buster? <laughs> I love the name ass buster. Oh my God. Lean weight lifting machine. The we need to cut that out of you getting it. Oh my god. Yeah, because it was lie. early it was too. On the live. Yes, I did. And the live that, that happened in, which would have been what? Three days ago? No, two, I think. Two days it ago. It was the last night at Rome. It was pretty incredible because it caught we caught it in the live. Okay. I was being a baby. But so ba- there You weren't being a baby. Yeah, that's true. This guy was, he, he just wasn't going to bring me this back. He said he was going to bring it between 6.30 and 7.30 and call. He didn't call. I did hear one buzz, but I was confused by the Airbnb we were at. I didn't think that it was, I thought the guy, he said he would call. So I just assumed that that was the case. I should have probably gone down, but I didn't. And then I kept calling and texting him. And he wasn't going to bring my bag back. And I decided on the live stream, I was just going to call him on repeat. I was going to call this fucking guy 50 times. I didn't give a fuck. I was going to spend all two hours. I called him close to 20 times in a row. I just, every time the call would end up, I recall it. Yeah. And then he brought it back. He brought it during the live stream. And there was probably some, not tension, but um, like some suspense. There was like I left because we did, he still didn't call. I just heard a buzz. And I ran suspense. downstairs and I came back with it. And then they, the people watching, like you left your phone with me. And he called. Oh yeah. So yeah, I yeah. answered it on the live, and I was like, "Hello." Did you? And he was like, "Speaker phone it or no?" Or no, that? I didn't. Okay. I like because I, I also. You're, I'm sure it's really easy, but I was just like, "Yeah." I so Android. wanted to make sure that I like answered and like talked. So I was like, "Hello," and he's like, "Your bag? I'm downstairs." And I was like, "Okay," you know, because he he actually didn't sound mad on the phone. Yeah. In so person. my mind, I said to them, I was like, I think he didn't see those missed calls. Bro, he, he acted. I know. So then when you were like, oh, he was mad, I was like, oh, okay, he was just being nice in the phone. Oh, like, did you fart? No, oh, dude, I don't go to the bathroom in my pants. Like, you just did. <laughs> like that guy in the palace today that unloaded <sighs> on me. <laughs> um, yeah, I did get it. It was a pretty incredible moment that we had on the live. Oh, yeah, Jeff Ammons. I saw him get his bag. Yeah, see, I'm glad you were on that live stream because it was suspenseful for me. Oh, yeah, Thomas said he's having a bad experience, but we're still best watch. Oh, man, I'm sorry you're having a bad experience, buddy. Speaking of bad experiences. Gee, there's not any comment, <laughs> It's pretty, dude, you don't have to fucking, mm. I have to sit here and mm. sleep in the same room with them. Oh, yeah. And try to not feel a little 
handsy. You can. I don't mind. <laughs> hey, what do they what did uh, what do they call it? Different area codes, dude. It's not cheating. <laughs> it's like we're in prison. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I'm a Lord Sasha. I can't even imagine. It was bad. It was hilariously bad in the funniest way. Hot zaddies. I love that. Oh, my dad's in here. Hey, Mr. What's Ely. up, Mr. Ely? Okay, Mr. I just called him Mr. Ely. What's up, Mr. Ely? What's up, the guy that made me uh, a human? was one half of the reason I'm alive? Yeah. What's up, Dad? Part of the zygote. <laughs> just, Dad, what are you doing today, by the way? Um, just got back from Columbia, so I have a week to backlog of number six with cheese videos. Hope the flight was good, boys. Can't wait to see the Bro. end. PTJL. Also a new name. I don't know. It's, yeah. I hope you loved Columbia, dude. I, I would love to go to Columbia. That would be so sick. I'm on a real kick right now with like Latin and South American countries and foods. So like I'd, mm. I'd love to just go Bro. to I'd love to go to Columbia. Can you imagine? No. I think that's where I want our next trip to be is like. Yeah, that or Cuba. Yeah. Think we can get it? Yeah. I got to know a guy. Uh, before we move on from your dad, uh -huh. I do. If he, I hope he's still on this. He is. We this. Did we already tell him about how much we talked about him to Alessandro? We didn't, and he probably doesn't even actually remember or know the or kind of stories. So we should tell him, dude. We went to this place that, like, fucking the most delicious pork you've ever had in your life. They slice it right in front of you. Small spot in Rome. Made these amazing sandwiches, like unbelievable mm -hmm. unbelievable flavor mm -hmm. and we ended up being friends with this guy and talking to him for like i mean we were there for a solid two hours absolutely he was it was uh, one of the best experiences of my life yeah show him this. so this is the actual porchetta that they like slice so you can see like little pieces he does it right in front of you it's a tiny place it's like so charming and then here's the sandwiches here's me and Corey's. so good it's this crunchy, like skinny bread, skin, like skin. The, skin. Yeah, the, the skin on the pit. Look at that. It's like, and I'm trying to like, I'm sorry, I'm like a, trying to show you guys photos on my phone like I'm an idiot. So we, after we did the food review, we ended up hanging out with him for like maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. And we just talked to him and they were, and like we brought up like, oh, his dad is a butcher. And we were trying to explain butcher to him, which he thought you were fat. He was sure. He was like, oh, he's a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, he's actually not at all. Yeah. It was, it was such an amazing experience, but you're now you're now a known butcher to the, one of the most famous sandwich makers in the world. I like his like stereotype for butchers was like, "Oh, you're a big fat guy." <laughs> <laughs> you get to one of them fat fucks. Huh? It's like, first of all, I don't know if there's like a language barrier, but that's really rude. <laughs> but you make too good of sandwiches, so I'd never be mad at you. Oh my god! Yeah, it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thomas McDonald said in Puerto Rico. There's Indian, uh, Indian soda. What's that it called? Got pretty good. All right, that's how so she found you up back in the social media. Back in the day. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's awesome. Damn, I did. Thanks. Thank you that you're happy. You're just going to skip over the fact that Courtney's trying to talk to my dad? Well, I was going to let them have their own conversation. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. What's the Bud Light of in uh, Italy? It's Brony. either. Brony. Probably Prony. I think. Ready? Maybe I feel like I see that a lot, but yeah, probably Peroni. I think definitely Peroni. Peroni Nastro Azzurro. Oh, no, no, no. Right? What? I feel like I that's the Italian Bud Light in America. In Italy, I actually feel like we don't see those. We see red labels. It, which is weird because I think the red label one is like maltier than the Nastro Azzurro. It is, but it's not like, I guess it depends on the question. Mm -hmm. Do you want the flavored beer? In Italy, that tastes the most like Bud Light, or do you want what's the beer that people go out and grab? Yeah, because I don't the, think he wants the flavor, right? Right. He's, I think he's thinking of like light drinking, cheap, like slammable. I you think know. it's the. I think it's the red. The, the, the red one is definitely what's more. What's the crap thing one? that the people are going out and like? If you're a guy who goes out and is, gets Bud Light, but you were born in Italy, you, you'd probably be the guy who goes out and gets the red Peroni. It's probably the red Peroni. You're probably right. I have seen that way more than the Nostros. Mm -hmm. You're right. But yeah, it doesn't taste like, it's not a light beer. I wonder what the ABV difference is of those two beers, or if there even is one. Probably a percent or two. Percent and a half, maybe. But the, yeah, the, the, the light one is more, it's what American flavor profile is more like Bud Light. Yeah. But it's not like, it's pretty rare. Like, I actually don't see it. Like, sometimes it's not even, you don't even have it as an option. I know. Which that's like, that's kind of, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. It's just different than America. 
I would say Peroni brand though is probably the answer to that question. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I mean, I said, dude, I like this Jeep person, bro. Where Me too. Fuck have you been? He's like my <gasps> new favorite person. Dude, I'm the king of box. I'm John. Dude, good to see you, buddy. We got some other Mr. Uh, mm -hmm. Love it. Mr. Ely Love going on. Mm -hmm. Michelle Hammond's happy the bunny doesn't lay the eggs day. I'm making Max get into your adventure. Time away from the norm. Stay safe, Michelle. Thank you for popping on here. I love people that like go, because we do that too for holidays. You go against the grain of what everybody else is eating. You know what? Just because people have ham or whatever on Easter, make Mexican food. Love that. Yes, love dude. that. I love that too. One one time for uh, Christmas, I mean, we've both done this. I literally just made a gigantic uh, brisket. brisket. Yeah, I remember when you did and that. And then I did pulled pork one year. Like, I'll just, uh, one time we got the Popeye's turkey. Like, I'll do different stuff all, I don't give a fuck about traditional, like, things. Like, yeah. turn it on its ear, dude. We agree that ham is dumb. Yeah, it's so boring. It is kind of boring. Especially right? now that I've had Borquette, I'm never going to want ham again. Right? I guess. Oh, dude, Thomas, no. This is why he's having a tough time. Lost his ID, and I have to get a new one to leave the country. We, I'm know, sorry, Thomas. Just, just, just so you know, I'm just going to just to I'm gonna be a positive light right now for you. Mm -hmm. It's going to all work out. You're going to figure it out. Everything's going to be okay. I know it's really stressful right now, but just keep working. You're going to get there, bud. Positive mindset will, will get you through. Positive mindset, my guy. It's going to be okay. Take me to Italy, please, Zaddy Corey. It's I'm like while you're pounding him, he's like, take me to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so many. Mr. People love, people love my dad, man. He's a, he's a celeb. Thank you, Ron, for making this sexy, babe. G Personal is my new favorite. Yeah, he's pretty funny. I was living in a beach for two months now in a hotel for a month for free. Oh, it's my like, God. Because you what live in Puerto Rico. Yeah, I know. And I was like, what is this life? I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's my zaddy. Dude, and he found four grams of weed. That's sick. What is going on? Your life, you're winning. Hey, Scoop is on here. What's up, Scoop? Scoop, good to see you. I love that name, just Scoop. Scoop. What's up, Scoop? Hilarious meat story, boys. Thanks for telling us about it. <laughs> My dad, dad, I can't wait to just like unload all these stories on you oh from this trip God. later. You're going to love it. We're going to have like a two-hour phone conversation when I get back telling you all about Italy. Uh-huh. <laughs> getting big. Oh, your dad, big fat guy. Getting huge. Hey, Mike Brand, this is my cousin. What's up, Mike Brand? Happy Easter, cousin Corey and Sean. Happy Easter, my friend. What's up, Mike? Um, yeah, he's oh awesome. Oh, my God. For next question. I bet Italy has cool bookstores. Gary Clutch Clark, I asked him for you. I've been dragging this fucking idiot to Don't Edward. say that. Not a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that's, that's a term of endearment. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. This poor, I actually I should be saying this poor guy. I don't, I like, just because, like, I'm down for anything. Mm -hmm. Like, just because you want to go into a bookstore, I don't really buy a ton of books. Like, I still love that. And I get excited when people are excited about things. Yeah. So truly, you being pumped, I yeah, missed that you entirely. Pointed, no, you hit it. It went through that I hole. <laughs> you pointed, it just went right through the hole. But back to the story. Yeah, yeah. I love seeing how excited you get about bookstores. Yeah. Like, there's no world I would be like, <sighs> you know what I mean? And that's basically, dude, I keep, uh, we keep finding bookstores. Well, especially in Rome, more yeah. so than Naples. Every time I saw a bookstore, I would just be like, we gotta go. I bought a book here. I, yeah, I, I, you showed I, it online. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. So I keep, yeah, I keep coming into bookstores, and uh, yeah, there are some sick ones. It's been really freaking cool. Jacko Roberts says hi. Jacko says hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dumb. Corey, oh my God, there's yeah. people in here. <laughs> Stop. Disgusting. You're, you you're knock it off. You're dude. gross, dude. Gary Clutch Clark lost 12 people when I farted. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you made it sound like it was like war. He lost 12 people when I farted. It was the hardest conditions out man. there. Pizza seemed like a religious thing in Puerto Rico. No shit. Say that again. I'm sorry. I'm putting no, yeah, stuff on Instagram. <laughs> it's talking about pizza being like a big thing in Puerto Rico. I never what kind really of asked. what kind of pizza do they have in Puerto Rico? That's awesome. I had no idea. That is awesome. Kitchen chat. Oh, they're checking in. Uh, sorry, guys. Well, I mean, it is like the social. I mean, it is. 
trying to get the oh yeah because sorry oh at least people now know who did it pieces seem like a religious thing in puerto rico must have been like 50 pieces i had no idea though for real that that was a thing mm -hmm. Ronnie Lee should have joined you sitting in the background and giving us two cents. I'd be like so fun to go to Italy with my dad. Like I think he would like truly love the food for sure. But like just I don't know. Like Dad, you haven't ever really been to Europe, right? Like it'd be really fun to be in Italy with you. You gotta get to Ireland first. Yeah, we should go to Ireland. That'd be off. We've actually talked about that with my brother of like the three of us like flying to Ireland and like doing that. I think that would be really, really neat. That'd be so sad. I'm just such a better international traveler than both of them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I can imagine. Ham sucks. I made, a time or two. I made shrimp fried rice for my parents today. That's so nice you Thank made that. You. I love that you took the bull by the horns. I'm glad he agrees, dude. I'm not a big ham guy. I agree. Not only is Mr. Ely getting huge, but this live stream is also making me huge. That makes two of us. And three. I got my driver's license renewed in Chicago, and I wasn't even ready to take the picture. And when I it, when it opened, and the other one is blinking, I said, "Can I retake it?" So yeah, I've heard Dude, that some DMVs like don't let you retake they're it. They're weird about it in Chicago. Yeah, me and Kylie both have pretty oh, bad. Open. Sorry, Megan. And yeah, Kylie has a horrible one, and, I, and they're just like, she looked at it, she's like, "It says don't." Can I? And they're like, "Nope." Yeah, Chicago's weird about that. They are. It's a very the whole situation. The DMV situation needs to be redone. Yeah. Why are we still dealing with that? Because the government has doesn't put any. Um, so they don't pay me one either. Bombastic side eye. <laughs> <laughs> that meat, though, dude. I know, Stephen. I know. It's real. I mean, I'm telling you right now, it's very good. It, it, Corey's right. It's like it's like almost too much flavor. It's like make. I feel like I'm wearing it on my chin. It's so rich. I freaking love bookstores. Dude, that's another reason that we could not have gone to Florence. I read a whole book on the booksellers of Florence. Uh -huh. Book selling as we know it propagated on this one street on Florence and they have a map in this book that I read. Okay. And I would have been just losing my mind <laughs> finding that street. Yes. Figuring out like all these great books, these great this great literature that was like, I don't know. I could go on for days. I'm mm -hmm. don't get me started. I'm not trying to don't look do I'm not trying to <laughs> he's getting mad again. Or he's getting angry. How dare you call Sean an idiot? I bet he definitely is not an idiot. He works the sheets like Einstein. <laughs> Dude, this person being such a champion of me is really nice. This is Fog. This is the, the Sean. It's like a Sean version of Fog. They're into me. Steven likes to hang out in bookstores. Yeah, you and me both, bro. It's, it's like, a very like therapeutic place to be. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh shit. Jack was talking about The Rock would be the main in Royal Rumble match 24. Is that what happened? The main event, is that what he means? Yeah, he's going to wrestle, oh, yeah, Roman, he's main, gonna wrestle yeah. Roman Reigns. It's going to be, they've been like talking about it for years. Like, do it already. We're sick of, I'm sick of like thinking about it. Sorry. Um, Jennifer talking about an Ireland trip. That's funny because you had mentioned you would love to do it. I think that's yeah. why she was saying yeah. that. She's yeah. saying like an Ireland trip would be amazing. Oh, yeah. I think, so imagine blogging that. Like mm -hmm. my, my dad and brother and I in Ireland going that's to Paul. So sick. <laughs> Naples has legit crazy underground crypts and labyrinths. Dude, bro. We tried to get tickets, they're sold out till Wednesday. We tried literally doing that today. today yeah. And we were like, well, if we can do it today, we'll do it tomorrow. It's sold out till Wednesday. The like little starting point to go down underground is like around the block from our house right now. Yeah, our it's apartment. Our, our dormitory. dormitory. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, oh God, go Ireland. You'll I know. Go it's to it's gonna happen eventually, regardless if it's not with like them. That is like then my big trip that I've been trying to like figure out when to do it. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Ireland so badly. Next year, Royal Rumble match. Namer twenty six, The Rock. Namer twenty seven, Batista. What's Namer? So I don't know the Namer like it. They're, he's saying that's going to be the last order of the last people into the Royal Rumble. Like The Rock, Batista, wow. Undertaker, The Miz, Goldberg. He's predicting. But what's the name or The thing? Miz? Is that big? Um, I mean, he's those been around. He's names. been, yeah, he's still like one of those guys they'll put in to that mix because he's so good in the microphone mm -hmm. and he's been a part of it for so long. Mm -hmm. So they kind Is of he still just hated in the community. No, I think he's kind of beloved because of like, He's like an Iron Man. He's been around forever, and he loves WWE. And him and his wife, who was also a wrestler, and his like hype man and stuff, they have their own show. Well, that's cool. They have a reality show. He was hated in the beginning, though, right? Yeah, because he came from MTV, so yeah. people don't like that. Yeah, yeah. Which he's fantastic. I think he's so fun to like. He's just so good on the microphone. Yeah, he's a comedian basically. Like he's just good at talking. Mm -hmm. You know. 
Uh, Michelle Muncy. I only just want to be able to close some more. Oh, I would love to go see that. Mm -hmm. I'd be ready. <laughs> Roll the um. Uh, <laughs> Cliff Clark is an English professor. Okay. So you share my love of the bookstores. I get it now. Yeah. Oh, this must be right when I was talking about the bookstores. Corey is oozing his mind while there is an unknown substance oozing out of me right now. <laughs> Maybe G Personal is like the horny version of Rally Smile. Yeah, which I respect. Steven O'Dan went to this used rare bookstore in downtown Asheville. Asheville's so fire, I've heard. It was pet friendly and also had a coffee and wine bar in too. Fuck yeah. I almost moved uh, just outside of Asheville. Right out of college, I had a job opportunity I turned down because it paid horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Asheville's supposedly sick. Mm-hmm. I've been on the lane of literature in Florence. No, no, you, that's like one of my dreams. Sorry, I took that from you. That's what I want to go see so bad. I, I read a whole book on that like area. Oh, it's mm. trip to Scotland. Yeah, wear some guilds. Two hotties streaming. Happy Easter, Simon. Simon Matten, what's up, dude? Asheville is awesome. Yeah, dude. I had a buddy that lived in Asheville for a few years, and he like raved about it. He like absolutely loved it. So um, everything I've ever heard from people is how much it's cool. All our plates, generally speaking, that we use in Number Six and Cheese Monday and Friday videos are from Asheville. Oh, they're made there. Yeah, that's, that's where that space is at. That oh, really gets all those. Okay. Uh, I forget the name of the brand, but mm -hmm. they're really good and they pay well. They're they're like. Uh, what did someone say something funny? You're laughing at me. I'm somebody with a Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can see the camera's reflection in Sean's forehead. Dude, me too, That's man. Funny. Me freaking too. Hey, you think their door shut? I was like, why does it matter? Why did I lean into that? And then you leaned into me. <laughs> Steven, I've been to Asheville a few times. It's such a blast. And when you go, you got to check out the. Bro. Oh, Biltmore Mansion. Oh, yeah, except for Dan Shepard talk about that. That doesn't smell. Okay. Not as bad as the last one. <laughs> okay. Dude, I think your forehead is making me blurry. Like, I think it's taking the focus. <laughs> it's so large. Um, Rock has moss bat Roman veins. It's like broken English, I think. Yeah, yeah. But the Rock must battle Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship and Universal Championship for WrestleMania 40 Hell in a Cell match, basically, right? I think that's basically what it is. Dude, Dude that'd be so right. sick. The Rock versus Roman Reigns. The Rock, I mean, they'll give it to Roman Reigns because The Rock is on the way out. But Yeah, they're not going to have The Rock win that. It's just like, whack. I don't even like wrestling. That's dumb. <laughs> You gotta go in November, December. It's all decorated for Christmas. Honestly, I'm mad. it's magical. It's fun. Mm. That's good. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, that's in Asheville. Are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are there any towns in like Toledo area that like go bonkers with lights during the holidays? Any towns in the Toledo area? No, it's just like your standard. Like you drive on the suburbs, or like the houses are lit, but there's not like a like go to this, like you know, down to like uh, Chris Kendall Market. There's none of that. There's this um, one of the cities in the suburbs of Detroit. They're known for this because you got that German town. Yeah, yeah. This um, is it Rochester? Where is it? It was one of the towns. You drive into downtown. It's like Main Street. Every single business is lined with lights. Like now, like oh, they have lights cool. on. It's like they do it like this. That's like it's cool. there's not an inch of the buildings that don't have lights on them. Wow. So people, it's so good for the. Terrible for the energy bill. Great for tourism or yeah. for their um, economy. So many people go to see the lights, and then they'll of course stop for dinner. Yeah, dinner, dinner is cool. drink. Mm -hmm. That is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Courtney, Chicago Pizza Summit announcement coming four fifteen. I'm getting excited. Me too. Is the announcement about us partnering up? I mean, whatever we want. I'm sure Anthony would just be like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I just made that up. Mm -hmm. It's not about us, but that would be sick, though, right? I'm assuming it's like with a date that it's going to be. I'm super excited for that. They, so haven't, they haven't announced that yet. How am I still my first beer? Really? Not anymore. The Rock, the rock is uh, you already Ben read, you, already, Rain. you already read that. Oh, I did. <laughs> did I? I thought. Isn't that the exact same thing? Oh, we put it twice. Okay. I, I was going to say, I was like, 
I apologize. Apology accepted. Oh, thank God. I'll tell you more about it on Discord. Yeah, build more mansion. Yeah, who owned that? Um, I don't know, man. I'm not asking you, so. Well, you're doing the thing that I do. Was it the Vanderbilt? Are you talking to me? I'm ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> was it the Vanderbilt? Or was it all the way? Like a blown out. You are really right. Let me point it at you and make you blown out. Oh, that's so much better. That's how bright it's been the whole time. I think you turned it up. No, I did. I turned it. It's wild. Um, oh, G Personal popped in a little later. What are you eating? Ooh, um, I'm eating a little charcuterie board here from a butcher shop in Naples. So I've got prosciutto. I've got sun-dried tomatoes. I've got salami. I've got buffalo mozzarella. I've got green olives. And... Um, Sweet. So flavorful. Um, it's, I know it's hard to say. I'm sorry. Um, I'll show you what it looked like originally. It's really good. We we had this idea. Didn't somebody comment yesterday, this is why we did this? Yeah. Is that they were like, you guys should do like a charcuterie board. On yesterday's live. Here's what the um, original one looked like. So you can see the, all that. Oh, and there's provolone cheese too. Two cheeses, two meats, olives, and tomatoes. And uh, we got... <laughs> We bought eight be eight big beers and two of these, and it was seventy five euro. <laughs> is this cured? Like, how come we can eat this raw? Like, this seems like a, we're just eating raw bacon. Like, that looks like bacon. It does. Yeah, I don't know the like logic behind okay. like how you can eat okay. cold. Can you cook it? Does it taste like bacon if you cook it? There's something about like the curing right with like the salt or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's different. Different. Yeah, I don't know. I mm -hmm. this I, you know as a food reviewer, I should probably know these things, but I don't. What are we doing? Isn't there a garbage right here? Uh, lean weightlifting machine. Often, yeah, right there. Is this the regular garbage that has like food in it? Plastic I think organic. Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think. Okay. Um, <laughs> off to Milwaukee. Hey, I hope you have a good time. Enjoy Easter dinner. Have fun, Mike. Can you use your dethrone Roman at money in the bank? Or is Jay someone? Jay Uso. It's Jay um, Uso. they're twins and they're uh, Roman's cousins in real life. Oh no shit! And they were like the tag team champs for a while. The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Undisputed champion. <laughs> it's like he's just really trying to be like, guys, we need to keep talking about this match. I get it. I get it. Have you guys ever gone to a restaurant show at McCormick Place? We have not. We have shows. What do you, what does that mean? Like it's like a like a um, what like they, they call do, like a whole kit and a boodle? Like yeah, like movie the menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a trade show. They do like oh, a trade, trade show. show. Like a trade show at McCormick Place with all the restaurants. Oh, McCormick out. Place. We have not I know what you're talking. That's about. great. Yeah. We've had some uh, hot sauce. <laughs> We've had some hot sauce companies you that we kind of me. know. It's not like the fucking menu. Have you seen that movie? Oh, I thought you met. Wow, different movie that I thought you said. Oh, I, what am I thinking of? Chef? What movie do they do the trade show thing at? Pop, maybe Chef. What I've are you talking? What's the menu? What are you... The menu is that newer movie oh, where I it's seen like it. okay. <laughs> where it's like the big Michelin star where you go and they bring you out like a twelve course meal. And everything, like they put on a show. Oh, like it's, wow! You, you should My bad. Watch yeah, I was gonna it. say that sounds amazing. I'm gonna need it's like a big mission. It's the number one restaurant in the world in the movie. Okay, I have. That's not what I meant. I'm sorry that I agreed with that. Um, the guy just said, "Well, I don't, want to give it don't give it away." Um, anyways, we had a couple of hot sauce companies that we've kind of known the owners, and they've come to trade shows like out in the burbs, and they've asked us if we wanted to like go out there. Like I remember Scotty Too High, oh, Scotty Too High, that's uh, what WWE, Scotty Ohati. Oh, and then also, um, who else came into town for it? There's hot sauce trade shows. They do like it'll be. This happened a couple of times during the show. We should go. Well, wait. Where it was like a food. It was like a trade show and a ton of hot sauce companies. Okay, so it's not. Yeah, I, I got. I got. You, I but got then you. there was. I think there was a hot sauce one. Yeah. Like in by like out by Allstate Arena. Yeah. No shit. And we didn't do it because it's like we can go out there and you know we're not getting. We don't know if those will get views. Yeah. But well, we could go just to pitch our hot sauce. There's no well, now. We, this is before we had our own. I see, I see, I see. Courtney's going to, oh, dude, he's planning a trip for um, Chicago Pizza Summit. We'll be there. It's super fun. Depending on what it is. I have an insane Yeah, that's year. true. I'm I might not be there. I'm going to say, I'm going to guarantee you I probably won't be there. Just, just the way that my, every fucking weekend my, my year is, especially with the wedding, is, my year is insane. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't want to guarantee you, but I'm right, really, I'm right. hoping it falls on a time that it's not. Yeah, I hope so, too. We'll see. Uh, oh, I was right. It was the Vanderbilt on that place in Asheville. Nice job. Oh, shit. Nice work. Where did that fuck come from in my brain? <laughs> Hulk Hogan versus... Really? Is he still wrestling? No. 
Okay. These guys come back and do these one-off things and make like a million dollars. They barely move around, mm-hmm. but they do enough to like make it cool. Absolutely. Good spot on. Them. Spot yeah. on. Make a make, make a that bang. make that coin, dude. Hey lads, happy to see you're still alive. What's up, Training What's Tech? Up, bro? Training Tech was the second comment in here and is still never letting me down. Yeah. Scott Merschmidt, Messer Schmidt, Stir Fry. Stir Fry Fire. Like, get some stir fry, because I always want stir fry. Sick. John Cena versus Batista one more time, WrestleMania 40 single match. Thoughts? I like it, I don't care. Like that that match, I don't give a fuck about watching Batista wrestle. Like, Wait, I, did he start wrestling? Mm-hmm. He's got to be good, no? No, he was like kind of historically a terrible wrestler. Really? He's just a genetic freak of nature, and like oh, the WWE, the, no, really, the WWE likes to push guys that look like him. Look the part. Yeah. Vince McMahon is notoriously like, even if a guy's terrible, he'll push him because he's like the jackedest dude in the world. He loves a wrestling. Yeah, player. it's like that's kind of how. Hey, we real quick. Comment your thoughts on uh, Vince McMahon's mustache. I give it a 2.5 out of 10. It's the only mustache on this planet worse than mine. <laughs> when that photo went viral, you had to feel so good. I was like, fuck yeah. You there is something about mustaches that don't go up to the nose. Like when they have that clear. It's so creepy, dude. Yeah, oh, it just looks God. weird. Yeah. Um, it's cured. Basically, cooking it does not go well. Oh, uh, that's good to know. Oh, yeah, it is. Wish I had one right now. So you're talking about a boner? Yeah. I want to send you guys a few beers from a local brewery here. It's, oh, yeah. Would love it. Optimus. We'll drink those. We'll drink them on a Monday or Friday video. 30, 3023 North Clark Street, Box 847, Chicago, Illinois, 60657. Uh, it's below our videos. You can go like look at it. Mm-hmm. And then you can either address it to both of us. Sean Wagner and Corey Ely. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, sometimes we get that. We get Corey, Sean Wagner and Corey Ely or yeah. whatever else. Uh, the menu is fantastic. I I did like it. Um, some people didn't. I gotta watch that. Some people said it was like the best movie. I didn't. I didn't think it was the best movie ever, but I did. I was like, I was I was enthralled all the time. It was a good movie. And it was unique and different than what I'm. And I like seeing John Leguizamo. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh yeah. Can I say one thing about what you just said? Yeah. People always say things like that, and I'm not like trying to roast you. I'm saying this is such a common expression in America. All right. I'm gonna get defensive. When people are like, you ask someone like, oh, how was that thing? And then the person will like, whether it's food or a movie or a song or whatever, they'll go, well, look, it's not the best movie in the world. Like imagine going into everything you ever do in your life going, this better be the best thing I've ever had. Like every Bro. meal, every movie. Like if your uh, mindset was that way, you'd be let down all oh, the time. The time so, but you, know, you saying that made, that's the first time I've ever thought of that. Is yeah. that like you, people will be like, look, it's not the best thing I've ever seen. Like. That's it. Should never be the case. Yeah. It should be the case once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, that's one time. We, I just think that's so funny that that's a built-in phrase to our culture. That's funny, but you know what it is though. It's 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 not that that person expected it to be the best thing in the world. It's, right. it's them setting expectations for who they're communicating. Completely with. agree. Because it's really hard to describe something that's completely agree. Good, but not great. Because we take a lot of pride in not like giving a bad recommendation to people. Mm-hmm. Because if you're like, oh, so-and-so wanted me to watch the new season of Love is Blind, you know, and, and it's so, and I'm like, fuck that person. Yeah. I'm never going to take enough. Because you really, that's like a one and done in our in our lives. Yeah. If somebody gives you a bad recommendation, you don't trust their thoughts anymore. Yeah. That's how we are. I'm going to eat this later. All right, Sean, what do you think of this? Mr. Bean is funny match. Is he wrestling? No, I don't know what that means. Sorry. I don't know what it means, truly. <laughs> Corey, I'll, I guess I'll have to replace you if you're gone, Sean. That's true. I'm going to try to go. It'll be me and you. Oh, yeah. Just, please do. Swoop, I would love that. Please swoop on in. Swoop in. We'll hang out. When are you going to Vegas, Sean? Uh, April 26th through the 30th. Oh, my God. Colleen went fucking skydiving today. Oh, that's my favorite thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my god, dude! She's she never gone, so she's. It's oh my incredible. God, that is so incredible. I tried to take her the last time I was in Michigan, and then they um, the winds were too high. Mm-hmm. Is that been twice? Muskegon. Uh, it was like up in no, it wasn't in Muskegon. It was on like, it was by Detroit. I think that's where we from Toledo folk would go. Muskegon was like the closest spot that they had one. I think. Oh, interesting. Because Muskegon is like. Oh fuck! I might be fucking that up. I'm probably fucking that up. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck you up. 
I fucked it up. So hard on yourself. I fucked it up. Um, okay. May 20th at McCormick Place National Restaurant Association show. May 20th. What does that sound? Oh, that's my brother's wedding. Oh, definitely. definitely <laughs> can't make so that. I can't. I'll be in Detroit. And that'd be one of those things that I would only go like with you. I yeah, think. I wouldn't do that. By I would. I think I actually would have a good time with you. But I think it was like if I was doing it by myself, I'd be like not that into it. Yeah, I wouldn't go vlog like a restaurant show by myself. Like no. I, that's absolutely a, that's like a fun thing to do with. That's why I like our show so much. I love being able to like bounce off you. With stuff. Yeah, the experience with someone else is like kind of part of absolutely the, part of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, David Boyles. What's up, fellas? What's up, David? Good What's to up? see you, buddy. What's up, D Boyles? How was the music scene there? Um, okay, this is I actually have a thought on this. Mm-hmm. Go for it. I think in order to know a music scene, you almost have to be a local unless it's Nashville. Yeah, I can see that. That's true. Like I feel a little bit like I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah, I can see that. I wish I did know. I don't feel like I have enough information to like actually make a a claim on that. I said this to Corey, um, I think earlier today that we've only been here for like four days in Italy, but I've already kind of in my, I think I've like picked up on what the number one song here is in Italy right yeah, now yeah, because say. I heard like this bartender singing it. And then I heard another person like singing it. And then when we checked into this Airbnb, we heard people out in the street, <laughs> um, like talking about it and like, and then singing it outside. And I was like, Oh, that must be like the most popular and I don't know what it is. I should have like done the like, what is this song uh, thing? Shazam. Yeah, Shazammed it. But maybe you guys can look it up. Like, what's the number one? Because it was like a poppy, very chorus heavy song. Yeah. Anyway, so I love when I studied abroad here. I was obsessed with learning what the like top music was, and it's very like EDMy kind Kirby. of like poppy. Yeah, it's just I guess that's kind of what America's top music is, though. You think? No. I think like a lot of the stuff that America likes is very like. Like new age pop is very like electronic. Yeah, I guess I could, once I could be culture, wrong. you re- it's like diversified if you live here. Mm-hmm. Like you're living in the states, I think there's so much more to it. But if you came as an outsider, you probably you're probably right. You'd be like, okay, here's where I, this right. Right. But then right. again, is there like Taylor Swift probably? Like who's the biggest artist? Do we think? So this is what I like to do because Spotify is kind of now like the the. The proprietor of what's popular. Like they have the staff. The Spotify like top fifty is like if you get on this list, you're like go- oh, so. You're, okay, so here we go. This is so your, to your point though. This is very diverse. A Drake song is number one right now in America. Morgan Wallen, country. Uh, how do you pronounce? Is it? that Sism? Or Sa? I've never heard of that. That's just fire. Okay, that. And then Pink Panthers and Ice Spice. See, music to me in America now is like this. It's very like, like when I went to, like, where was I? Maybe one of the last times I went to Lala. Like, everything is like that. It's like very vibey and poppy. Yeah, you did find one on the top five, but also, well, I don't know. I don't never heard of it. What? How is that number six? Also, you're not playing Morgan Wallen. Well, that's I said that's country. I know. But your you, point was you, you, you clicked one of the top five. But there's like Miley Cyrus. Miley. No, you're just trying that's to bob your head. head. No, no, that's I'm I'm bobbing my head because I like that song. Yeah, Emily Chopper. That's rap. Yeah, this really is all over the place. So I'm Morgan wrong. Morgan Wallen's right there. His album just came out, so it's like Luke. I and mean, there's a lot of country on here. Yeah. And a lot this. of Spanish market. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we basically just proved I was wrong. Spanish music, though, is kind of. Taylor's on there. Yeah, a little Uzi Vert. But this is very diverse. Okay, this is way more diverse. Zach, Zach Bryan, Bryan, who's like bluegrass, basically. Tyler the Creator. I knew he had new music. Aaron Wall's the album is just crushing on this freaking top 50. Like Dude, that. I heard in the countries, I heard this on a podcast, on the country top 50, uh huh, the top 25, mm-hmm. I think. This the the podcast has something along the lines of twenty two of the top twenty five. Co- Go to Spotify's top country. Okay. I heard like twenty two of the top twenty five are Morgan Wallen songs, and it's because his album has twenty six songs. Something okay. crazy like that. I watched a whole YouTube video about the trick. Oh, we're back. We're back. 
Um, I watched a whole YouTube video about how these artists now are putting so many songs on their country artists because they, um, because of that, because people listen to it all the way through and it'll automatically make you have more views. Like it'll push songs to the top Algorithm. and you get paid more. Yeah. The more you streams, the better. Right. So one Morgan Wall. Wall and then Zach Bryan and Morton Wall and then Morton Wall and Luke Combs, Morton Wall and Luke Combs, Luke Combs. So Luke Combs also just dropped an album. So it's very mm. heavy on like new stuff. Yeah. And people are listening to it at such a high rate. Okay, so maybe I listened to, maybe that was on the podcast I listened to, but it's maybe right when that Morton Wall and album dropped. Yeah, because it just came out like two weeks ago. He also had like a 36 song. It was. Uh, it was record. like 36. It really was. And there's all these videos about how it was a strategy. It, was, it wasn't because he was like, I'm going to write a ton of songs. It was like, a strategy from his record label that was like, let's put out a huge album and you're going to make a fucking ton of money. It has, does this have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, 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 forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, twenty, 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 four, five, Jeez. six, six. It's like, oh, it's 36 songs. You're right. It's 36 songs. I pulled that out. Spot on. One hour, 52 minutes, which when we were growing up, CDs could be 80, 80 minutes. Is that what it was? Oh yeah, because it used to be based off of yeah, there, eighty minutes. There was yeah. actually a writing, yeah. And before that, it was vinyl based. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Morgan Wallen is bringing. Uh, oh, hold on. Did we get, oh, never mind. Sorry. No. Morgan Wallen is bringing back the country that I actually have some respect for. Oh, you like it? There was some. There's many. Most of my life, I've thought country that twangy horseshit for sure and poppy bullshit. Mm -hmm. I like. Love folk and bluegrass, bluegrass yeah. which essentially is country. Mm -hmm. Like John Bryan, it's, he's a country singer essentially. Yeah. Now there's some twangier stuff that he does, and there's some more like folky stuff that he does. Mm -hmm. There was a while where it was just very much like twangy shit, which I just fucking can't stand that vocally. I mean, it doesn't resonate with me. I think Morgan Wallen started to do like bringing up back to things that I like, which is just like, I like the lyrically driven shit. I've always been right. fine with the lyrics. It's just been the tone of it. I've I totally get. I with. completely get it. Do I you, think he's bringing it to for me. Do you know who's? Have you ever listened to Zach Bryan? Who's really popular? He's like. I've heard he's, a couple of his, I think he's, he's kind of changing. He played both this year. He played both Lala and Windy City Smokeout. Yeah. He's like kind of transcending like these because yeah. he's more bluegrass. So this is the most popular song he's ever done. It's got three hundred thirty million. Let me like. I'll tell you this song. More like these things see, love this. Right. this is this I yeah. love. He's like, I just don't like the you know the twangy stuff. That, I know I know exactly I, what you're I talking fucking about. Love that. That's and you, sick and you also don't ever want to listen to like a Kenny Chesney or Keith Urban song. It's like super uh, like stadium pop country. Yeah, the pop country. Right. I feel like I didn't fuck But the exact Brian is like so like vibey, like yeah. bluegrass. Yeah. Morgan Wallen's a lot more like that. Like even his big poppy songs are, are still very like they're still in that they're more grounded world. a little bit yeah. in like the tone. I think I is, also like Luke Combs a lot because Luke Combs, like, he also is kind of like he's he's one of the biggest country artists in the world right now, probably probably number one right now. Biggest. But still does like a lot of stuff that's way more like vibey than like pop country yeah because he's not he's not that guy yeah i think it is kind of swinging back i think so bit. too like i think i'm i think i'm ready to start saying that i like country i'm getting there yeah there's got to be another subsection that it's called mm -hmm. like it almost needs like a new label yeah some of that stuff who, who sings this song because i went and saw this guy live we just he played in toledo mm -hmm. and i liked it smoke a little smoke drink a little drink eric church i liked that song Maybe yeah because it was about smoking weed that's also very like it's deeper. It's in like that was it's a bit not closer like, to the pop of it though. Mm -hmm. That was when the transition I feel like was starting to happen. Yeah. So he's, that's still a little bit country for me. That it is, but he's but I completely understand what you're saying. He's like a lot more he's older too. Yeah. He, I love his song Springsteen. He may a have been a, 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 a torchbearer. He was kind of bringing me into the I love Eric Church songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's really interesting. I like love that. Thank you for sharing that with me. Yeah, I really do like um, those, like the the fact that it's swinging back. I'm not a hater the way I used to be. Is more or less the point. I really, I really don't hate too many genres. Like I appreciate it for what it is. Like yeah. there's some things I don't like. I don't listen to a lot of EDM. I don't listen to like house music. But like I totally get it. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. It serves a good purpose. Yeah.
Do you like Jim Carrey movies? I just watched all the Jim Carrey movies with my wife, and there were some bad ones, and there were some great ones. One of my all-time favorite movies is Eternal, Sun, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I do. I'd say all in all, I like them. It's like anything. Yeah. Do you like? Do you like every of any band songs? Like it's pretty rare that you like every of any artist. I do like a lot of Jim Carrey movies though. But especially you know. with the actor, there's so many moving parts that it's not the actor doesn't have control over everything. Mm -hmm. So you know, sometimes Jim Carrey might be in a movie with a director who sucks ass. Or maybe they have producers who don't come through and bring the right amount of budget that. Absolutely. Deserves. Absolutely. Or maybe the script is just not as good as it should be. But there's like been a Jim lot Carrey. of there's yeah. been a lot of yeah. movies that we've that have been proven that have just been edited poorly. Edited. That's yeah. another whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's a thing that really goes overlooked in movies is like editing. Editing's everything. It tells the whole story. I mean, it tells, it's everything. I've heard that it goes. Obviously, there's a script. Mm -hmm. Then there's the whole acting and directing. Yeah. Then it's it, and there there it. The story completely changes in there. Oh yeah, and then it completely changes a third time in the edit. Like it's can, you could make it totally. It could be totally different. Have you heard of like the whole thing with that one DC movie where the director Zack Snyder? Yeah, did, did, did his own cut. Of yeah, I watched yeah. it. It still wasn't that good. <laughs> but it's Honestly. funny to me. He was like, "I'm gonna edit it." Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I just think it's okay. It's, but... Yeah, I just it's interesting. Mm -hmm. My dad left me again. Dad. Hey. I'm just kidding. Just, there, he's, no, there. he didn't. That. I, just, I just thought it'd be funny to say out loud. Dad, if you're still here and you're waiting for a goodbye, I'm sorry it took so long. Uh, have a great day. Later. He's just waiting. He's like, I'm going to leave until they say goodbye. Uh, Jake Cohn is 15 year old kid with an amazing voice. Stevie Ray vibe to me. Must listen. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bookmark it right now. This is what all this travel is great for. I can be like, oh, I remember when Jennifer told me to listen to Jake Cohn. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to book, bookmark, bookmark him. Oh, Courtney said, well, I like everything you two do. All right, well, that makes me feel better. That's a gentleman for it. Okay, so it's only bringing up a podcast that maybe he was on. Jake Cohn. Yeah, you're spelling it right. I guess he is young. Does he have like a TikTok? Does he even have a Spotify? He's not old enough to have a Spotify yet. Maybe I'll just search it on YouTube. Really? I mean, it didn't come yeah, up. Yeah, search YouTube because sometimes that'll break Jake stuff. Cohn music, okay. Okay. Wow. Okay, he's very, he's only 15. He's got 4,000 subscribers. Go to videos and go to popular because that's what I would do. Oh, he's so young. Oh, so you just like found a, a YouTuber that's like not really made it yet. That's kind of sick. Dude, Jennifer, maybe you're just like a tap. His so voice. Keep this in mind. Look at this kid. What year is that? It's only got 14,000 views. This kid's gonna be fucking came out smoking cigarettes, bro. This kid's gonna be big. Is he doing that voice, like, or is he like, is that his actual voice? There's probably some mix in there, right? Yeah, I feel like he's kind of doing it, which I mean, hey, it's fine. Good fine. Jennifer, great fine. Good fine. That dude's about to be a stud. I feel he like. sounds like he's he's gonna have a record deal quick. Yeah, and right. he plays guitar well. Do you like Leon Schuster movies? Never heard of him. Have you? No. Who's Leon Schuster? Is that one of the pedophiles? It's all these people in Oh, Hollywood. I thought of a good movie idea. He's a South African filmmaker. Hold that thought. I want to hear about that movie idea. That did... I'm going to go to some of his... I don't think I know any of these movies. I don't think we've seen any of these. Yeah, okay, so to answer your question, it's not that I don't like them. I don't think I've ever seen anything. Oh, okay. Do you like Mr. Bean, Rowan, Atkinson's movies? I don't think I know who that is. Have you guys had any coffee in Italy? Espresso every day. Had an espresso every single day? It's like low-key kind of our favorite parts of the day. You know, I hate espresso. Sean loves it, but I like the feeling I get after I have them. <laughs> we like to go to these little Wait, coffee shops and then, oh, that. movie idea. You had a movie idea. Oh, I'm reading this Chuck book. Mm-hmm. Uh, female driven lead character. Mm -hmm. It's, I want, like, uh, you know how, um, uh, Tarantino does these movies that are like, it's about real life, 
yeah. but it ends up being fake. Mm -hmm. So it's like he, he had the movie where they killed Hitler. Mm -hmm. What about a female driven character who goes on a rampage and to kill um who's the big fat fuck who jerked off on a plant? Um uh, uh, <laughs> uh, he went to prison. Cosby. No, that's well, good. basically, yeah. The Cosby movie. Oh, producers. uh Weinstein. Dude, what about a so he takes advantage of this girl and then she it goes it's a revenge action plot movie. Where she goes on a rampage to kill this guy, but he has so much money that he's about to defense. Wow. Kind of Kill Bill. It's very Kill Bill. It's Kill Bill, but for Weinstein. It's also kind of Arya Stark. Yeah. For real. Right? Her whole thing was that she was going to kill every person that killed her family, right? Yeah. And she goes and assassinates all these people. And Weinstein could maybe even have this girl's parents killed or something, but she threatens to go to the law and he, yeah. as a way to dominate yeah tells her parents or something i mean i love that that's, be that's a movie fun, i would right? see and i just like the tarantino because once upon a time in hollywood mm -hmm. based off a real situation mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and then the nazi movie inglorious bastards yeah yeah based off of essentially kind of like having a real using real uh, historical figures and then having some fat ugly fuck of course play wine scene of and course the the catharsis of seeing wine scene get killed yeah, and do it in a really grotesque, brutal way. Yeah, there'd be a there's a fun Tarantino esque storyline there that I think was like, been, would dude, be really it's fun. it's honestly that video pitch or movie video movie pitch is like giving me such a like remembrance of how obsessed I was with that Arya Stark storyline because she was a female driven young lead yeah. who was like killing all these these guys that were like fucking warriors and she was doing it in these creative ways. It was gory as fuck. Yeah. There's, yeah, dude. There's also a, a girl you like, uh, actress. I don't remember. Maybe Margot Robbie or something. I, I just know. I don't remember who it is. But there was that movie with that girl who she would like on the side murder, like rapists and shit. And then there was like a love story intact. And I think it was like an actress that you liked. I might be making that. No, up. no, no. Oh my god, what is that? So Margot Robbie was in that movie. That's not that movie. That, that's not what you're thinking of. Um, Blondie? Blonde? For sure. No, the name of the movie. Oh. 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 Was it with Bo Burnham in it? Yeah, he was the love interest. Right. Okay, that movie was called... That's right. It was really bright and pink, and yeah, yeah she would kill people. Oh, and then, well, the twist in the movie's fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it gives me that Oh, my God, yeah, too. yeah. Like, that's kind of... That she's thing she's right. great. It's basically that movie kind of with historically accurate figures. Prom uh, Promising Young Woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yes. That'd be kind of cool. Oh my god, that movie was fucking nuts. I loved it. Um, I haven't seen her in a lot, but she was so good in that movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great. Courtney's just rattling off all the dope shit we do. That makes me feel good. He said, oh, except the socks. Wait, oh, did we have socks that we made? Oh, are the socks bad? <laughs> did we get it? Patrick got them. Oh, are they bad? He just never told us until this moment. That's funny. Chris Stapleton is the best voice of our generation. I, well, that's, that's saying a lot, but I fucking love Chris Stapleton. Um, one of my favorite artists right now. I absolutely love his voice. I agree. I don't know if it's for everybody. Do you know Chris's voice very well? No, I know the name for sure. He's also kind of in that same vein of everything we were talking about for country. Oh yeah, this guy's fire. Mm -hmm. Well, this guy. So vibey, dude. Coy Wagner? <laughs> yeah. I used this in a blog. I, I don't remember his name, so I have to like look it up. Um, I'm sure you've heard this song. This song fucking slaps. Let's see. It's on. Oh, he didn't say they sucked. He said it's. He just didn't get them. He didn't get the socks. Oh, uh, that's the only. I'm gonna send you something. Uh, Courtney, maybe I'll put that in your gift bag. Oh, oh sleeping on. Oh, Colton Wall. Colton Wall. I don't know Colter that. Wall. Sleeping on a blacktop. No, I don't know that song. Will this bring me to it? All right. You never heard this. I don't know. I gotta this hear song. it. You just fucking. 
Is that a just I just asked you, and you were like, no. And I was like, you haven't heard this? Like, like, did I stutter? The song slaps. Damn, you get Italian ads out here. Yeah, man. You ever heard this? I want to wait for the music, the, the voice, I mean. It's a great song already, though. Let's get for Oh, my God. Oh, that be nice. Yes. Wow. How are you? This, this beat comes in. I mean, I, I fucking love it. This dude goes hard. Oh my God, I love it. I'm absolutely saving, first of all, I'm saving that song. And then I'm going to save him on my Spotify. Yeah, he's fucking. Oh my God, that was so good. I can't believe I just got a sick recommendation for country from you. <laughs> you give me that bottle? Yeah. Or I'm sorry, the bottle opening. <laughs> That's so sick. Um, have you ever seen any of the screen movies? Screen movies? I honestly don't think I have. I saw them all when I was younger, and I haven't watched. And then I got obsessed with scary movie because they made fun of them. And I was like, comedy is where I want to take my life, not uh, yeah. scary movies. Yeah. They're great, though. Courtney, I didn't know he had a faceless man tattoo from Arya Stark on his fucking arm. Oh, that's pretty sick. That's so sick. It's not like Power Rangers. The band Chicano Batman. Their song "Cycles of Existential Rhyme." Okay. Oh yeah, I think David Boyle's told me to use this in a blog. Chicano Batman. Cycle. Okay. I think I. I think I. Oh yeah, I watched these guys as a. Uh, their tiny desk. Oh really? Yeah, because David Boyle's told me to watch it. I've been meaning to put them in a vlog, actually, like for David. I mean, it's it's. Hold on, let me. I don't. Ace, I love it. Ooh, the crying dog. Twenty bucks. My God. That was our first donation in a while. Yeah, we've been just hanging out. Uh, hey, fellas, hope the trip is going well. Been trying to catch the live streams for work and life. Can't wait to see the bids and other streams. Dude, Dude. the bids are gonna be so fucking sick. Kevin, I love you, brother. I hope you real quick. Yeah, go for it. Bro, Scary Movie 1 and 2 made me laugh so hard. I remember watching them as a kid and thinking they were the funniest movies ever. And then it rolled into like the parodies of everything being funny. So then do you guys remember, uh, what was the movie called? Not Another Teen Movie. Do you guys remember Not Another Teen Movie? It was obviously like making fun of all of the like rom-coms when we were growing up. And Chris Evans was one of the leads in it when he was really young. And he played like the high school football jock. And they just like kind of shit all over the premises. And it was so funny. I was, I still, I want to rewatch that movie soon. Maybe I'll rewatch that movie on the flight back to Chicago. Cause I got to download, I bet it's on Netflix or something. I, that's one of those movies that I always really, really just would put on on like Sundays when I was like doing laundry and like cleaning up and like getting ready for the week. I always like to put on like a movie that was like just a comfort feel good movie that made me laugh that I would catch parts of. And that was a movie that I thought was so goddamn funny. Uh, Eric Wu, does Sixer Sauce have the vinegar taste? It does not. It was quite literally created because how much we hate just pure vinegar hot sauces. Like there's a place for them here and there, but that like, Every single hot sauce was the exact same. Cholula, Louisiana, Crystal, Tabasco, Fresh French. All of those were the like the same thing. So we quite literally were like, let's make a sauce that's not that that you can put on everything. And ours is better. I'll just say it. <laughs> now another team movie was hilarious. Steven, you just get me, bro. Oh, and Courtney. Chris Evans bikini whipped cream bikini. Oh my god! I I think I need to rewatch that again. So good. 
I just rewatched How to Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood, which was also super funny. I don't think I know that. What? Really? How to Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Why do I? Why does that not ring? Oh my out? god! It's basically a scary movie for. Oh. Um. What's that movie? That's a really good movie. Corey, there's people here. It's me. It's a great movie. How to be a menace? I'm looking up the movie poster, right, guys? Right now, guys. Oh, oh my God! I forgot that. How to be a menace? Don't I be completely menace. forgot about this movie. It's I don't think I ever saw it. Oh, it's a classic. It's Sean and Marlon Wayans. The gr the grandma. They got a grandma that smokes these big fat doobies. Okay. It's well, so dude, the fucking it's a fucking brilliant movie okay well that makes me feel good because i am queuing up these movies that i'm going to watch on the plane back the pineapple express movie was that comfort movie for me dude so good. it's so good and that one's even like i love that movie but as far as like a comfort movie like that movie is actually kind of stressful like it's like this this like plot is like very like anxiety filled yeah it is <laughs> but it's so it's so so good that movie had to have made, I'm assuming, two hundred million dollars at the box office, like profit. I wish Pot has love movies, and it was just so good. And like, oh my god, Scream Six came out last month, and I got to go to a very special fan mm -hmm. event with an advanced screening. It was so much fun. That's badass. You're going to an advanced screening, you had to feel like a VIP. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a very fun feeling. Yo, I'm back What's like a rubber up, band baby? snap. Yo, What's up, kid? I'm gonna call you T Core. In the Peaberg, any Star Wars movie is my comfort movie. I don't need to watch it. Just listen while I work. I love Star Wars. I'm, I'm right there with you. I um, really loved like Star Wars growing up, and I guiltfully haven't really kept up with like Mandalorian and stuff. It's so good. I think it was that thing We're where not, I'm like, I shouldn't overhype it. I'm gonna do the thing you don't. Well, like. I already know. It's not great. I already know. It's, it's not, the, not the, it's best not the show. greatest thing ever. I uh, I feel like I know it's there, so I can always go watch it. Yeah. But, do you not have Disney? No, I do, because I'm Marvel. What do you do? You, what do you watch? You don't I watch those? MCU stuff. I'm more Marvel than Star Wars. I mean, I know there's time for both. Yeah, there's they're different. I know. I know. I completely know. Um, Steven, I'm gonna check it out. I promise you. You guys have sold me. Complete. Do you guys see this new? I was watching like a YouTube video today or something, and an ad came out. I think there's a new Jake Gyllenhaal movie where he's like. He was at war or something with a guy and he saved his life and then he got hurt. So he went back home and now this guy and his family got like taken or something by like, not the Taliban, but it's like, there's something where he now, now Jill and all has to go back overseas to try to get him out. And the guy's like, if you find them, we will airlift you out. And like that's the premise of the movie, cool. and I was like, "Is that not the most fucking Jake Gyllenhaal plot you've ever heard in your life?" Dude, Jake Gyllenhaal, the G. He's great. I just mean like, there's he's like great. also that movie would be like if somebody was like, "Oh, Matt Damon's that guy." I was like, "Oh yeah, of course." Jake Gyllenhaal does this great thing. Actually, Matt Damon too. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect example where he does these like action movies, like kind of whatever you're saying, bullshit. Mm -hmm. But he's he's actually an art guy. And right. also will make like some artsy good movies too. Yeah, he still does like almost like indies. It feels like a little yeah, bit. like as far as the plots go. I don't know they're probably still big yep. budgets, but what does this mean? Oops! All of the news coming out of Celebration this weekend is fire. Is that about Star Wars? Is something called Celebration? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. That. I got Kenneth Basinger in here. Wait, wait, go Star oh, Wars. Oh, I feel like we missed a comment that one there. Oh, comfort movie, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer's Silence of the Lambs. Dude, Silence of the Lambs is fire. That's all I wanted. To say. That's a great. I no, no, that's. I don't know how I missed that. That's a great choice for a comfort movie. Yeah, I love everyone just being like, "Yo, <laughs> I got recommendations for all y'all." Get some good Rex over there. Mm -hmm. Um, should we go to the bar soon? Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm getting ready to go. Uh, things, Sean starts texting instead of being on live. I know. No, I feel like I talk too much, and then I'm like, oh, I was building this. I'm post. just doing my bit. I was <laughs> building this post. Well, I yeah. Say that you here's the thing. The here's the thing, though. If you keep saying that, people start to fucking believe you. There's like been bits where they're like, Yeah, you know, oh, like, yeah do you a joke, and then they'll be like, Would you do, do a lot of doing? Yeah. So it's See what I mean? Bit. See what it's I mean? True. <laughs> I gotta blow into a tube in my car every time before I start it up. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a new bit. They don't even know the bit yet, probably because the videos haven't come out. 
but uh, I've been pushing this bit that Sean is just texting the whole. He's not looking around, he's taking in all the greatness. Every time I do a vlog thing, I just put it on like, well, Sean's not looking, he's texting. Yeah, yeah. just. My, but I'm leaning into it and being like, well, I've been here before. Like this is kind of boring. Like I said, you know what the Royal Palace doesn't have? Texting. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back to my phone now. <laughs> yeah, that's my new. That's my new shtick. Is that nothing is more exciting to me than being on my phone. There's that clip from The Office where it's like one of the later seasons, and the, all the all, everyone in the office is going to play trivia, and at the bar, at the like, bar, yeah. and they go, "All right, everyone's uh, cell phones in the basket," and Ryan is like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." He has to give it, and then like he's five minutes into the thing, and he gets from the table, he goes, "I can't be without my phone," and he just leaves, <laughs> and it cracks me up every time because it's like so our society. That's funny. I never really thought about my favorite movie of all time. I think that's that all movies are the greatest to me if I enjoyed watching it. That's yeah, a fun I'm way really to look at it. That's a really nice way to do it. I just love cinema. Yeah, I get it. Picking somebody asked me that recently and was like, What's your favorite movie? Like people were wondering what my favorite movie was. And I was like, What's your favorite food to eat? I'm like, that's so hard though. It changes every but I also said I was like, all right, my favorite movie probably changes every month. Yeah. Like it's like the mood I'm in. But the I will say the movie that I was so caught off guard by when I was a kid that I didn't know what I was seeing. And then I saw it with friends. They were like, we're going to see this movie. I was like, I don't know what that is. We went and saw it. And then I was like, this genre, all I want to do is watch this type of movie. Uh -huh. Ocean's Eleven. Isn't that weird? Or I was like, not repeat that. Really? You don't think that's a good movie? I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a good movie. I like was so. But you just pitched it as though it's like. I know. It like, like it's life defining. I know. You. And to say Ocean's Eleven is like life defining. I know. It's, yeah, I actually you said should that. bury that deep inside. No, I, I'm, no gonna, I'm, I'm owning it. Really I like, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was going to be like a boat movie. I was like, Oceans? I was like, I had never heard of like the Rat Pack stuff, you know? So it's, what it's was a, going on? Because that was really pretty big marketed, no? Yeah, but I think I just like, you I just, I kind of never really saw like a heist movie or like Vegas just, stuff. I was more like in seventh grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just kind of was, I was into sport. All I cared about was sports. Yeah, yeah. I didn't care about movies really. Home, playing video games, you're not sitting dick I watched, I watched TV. comedies. I watched okay, comedies and, and, and I just played yeah. basketball every day. So yeah. Like, and my friends were like, let's go see the movie. And I just, it caught me off guard how much I liked yeah, it. Yeah. So all of a sudden I was like, and then I hadn't really seen a lot of Brad Pitt movies and stuff. I was yeah. in seventh grade. Yeah. And so then I just became obsessed with like heist and Vegas movies. Yeah. Okay. We got something. This is, we should, there's only 33 people here, but we should definitely talk about this. Eric Wu, $18 for six or so, so you get all the money, including mm -hmm. shipping. So glad you brought this up. Yeah. We had to crank up the shipping. Dude, this sucks. I was doing our taxes for our quarterlies. We lost money on our merch channel in January, which means we probably lost money also in February, which means we probably lost money also in March. Mm -hmm. Our shipping was so, look how nasty my finger looks. Our <laughs> shipping is so expensive. We've been, if you only bought one bottle of Sixer Sauce, which a lot of not a lot, but like it's it must a lot have, of people did it in January. In the first quarter of our year, more like people were doing that. Apparently, we lost money on our merch as a whole. That's how bad we were getting hit with. Which means that six or sauce, we were losing so much money. Any profit we were getting on our other shit was overcoming. Like our shipping costs were more than our total earnings. Mm -hmm. People were getting six or sauce for less than it costs for us to like make it and get it to you guys yeah which is insane but that's the truth of the matter like we literally i'll show i, I can send it no i mean they believe you it's just there's a reason it went up it used to be it was 12 dollars for a bottle and then 250 for shipping if you just want one we do well when people buy more than one item it's and i've talked to other hot sauce companies about this like mom and pop hot sauces like us where mom and pop and uh, and um it, you like most people because okay so here's we don't just like we're also not boxing up six or sauce and sending it so we made it it only costs us like a few dollars a bottle to make right that's but a crazy thing we yeah, keep it we stuff. keep it in a production facility or a, um, distribution. a distribution facility where they box it up and send it and a lot of people use it. it's not just youtubers like it's called ship bob it's a massive like which we're looking to switch we just talked to a friend who has a new distribution company that he said he suggests yeah he was at ship no he wasn't at ship bob but he suggested do you so we're gonna look into a new one, but so to break it down, if somebody bought, let's say like in California, where it's a little bit further than Chicago, if they bought a twelve dollar bottle of sixer sauce for two dollar fifty cent shipping, they paid fourteen fifty out the door. 
we were looking at the invoices from the um, distribution center in some of these orders, they would charge us for like the shipping, the boxing it up. It was like $16. So we're losing a dollar 50 on sending out one bottle of hot sauce. And then you have 30 people buy. Yeah. Cause our biggest mover is our biggest volume is hot sauce. Mm -hmm. So like we maybe sell a couple shirts a month, like maybe a month we might sell like four shirts. Right. Yeah. And then in that month, side items we sell one or two and then in that month we might sell 40 bottles of hot sauce right well it's 40 single units moved and we're losing two bucks which i don't know that math doesn't necessarily work out but somehow as a whole on that on the month of january we made we made this much and we spent this much mm -hmm. to send it out and get it so we lost money so we just went in this just happened right before italy i just because quarterlies are due April in like a couple of days. So I just did all our accounting shit right before we left for Italy. It was like, fuck, I'm kind of freaking out about it low key and hit these, him and Welby up. It's like, hey, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Why is she, why are we losing money on our merch? Right. So Sean is the one who figured it out. I thought, it, I thought we were getting fucked by the distro co company. And then Sean was like, dude, I think it's just our hot sauce. We lose money on those single bottle sales. Mm -hmm. Um, so we had to change this. We just, we, we had to up our shipping. We upped the shipping to $6 and it's, and like, we don't want to sell a bottle of hot sauce for that much. Like, are you kidding me? We want as many people to get it as possible. Yeah. We're testing that out by the way. Cause we've also thought about in making it so you can't buy one bottle of Sixer sauce. Cause Sean did a bunch of research mm -hmm. and found that a lot of people like said, do, do two, two. So if says like, if you buy a minimum of two bottles, all of a sudden, we don't lose money. Like it, it works out. If we sell two, the profit margin, yeah, like a two pack, or, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's an option. We, we're kind of feeling it out. We're seeing if if you guys don't like the shipping cost because it is it's crazy. Yeah, it's just like we can't like, lose like money. Eighteen dollars. Like, yeah, it's insane with shipping. So I don't know. I don't know what you guys would like. Maybe it does make more sense to do a two pack because then they get. Could also do both because you if could also do, have a two pack on there and the high but shipping. The thing is, if we got one, it's just about creating value for the consumer. There isn't really value for the consumer if it's eighteen dollars for one of our bottles. Mm -hmm. But it is value because if you get two bottles, we're still making money and they're still getting value. Mm -hmm. They're not getting value. They're not getting. Eight, I mean, they kind of are, but are they getting the value with one bottle and all the money's going to shipping and distribution? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a good value prop. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I agree. So actually, now that talking it out, it makes more. Oh, does that include subscription? We really got to fix our subscription. We're losing dumb money on the description. When we were, I, and to be fair, Chef Iron Mike was sending out the hot sauce for the first couple of years. So, like, all of those prices and everything we were doing were great when he was sending it. Because when you just do like the flat rate shipping, you know, you stuff it in the box, it's six bucks no matter where you send it. The subscription was making money. But then we started noticing that the ship off prices kept going up and up and up and up and up. They had a thing last year where we got some emails and we're like, Hey, our changes, are ch our costs are changing. And after that, we were, we were tracking it. We were just like, Oh, costs are changing. I'm sure it's not going to be killer. Yeah. yeah. And we didn't really look into it. And then this first quarter, we just didn't make as much money as I expected. And I started being like, what the fuck is going on? And I did right. a little bit of a deeper dive and I isolated our shipping call or our ship off costs, which is the name of our distribution company. And we, that's when I found out we lost money. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, Oh fuck those emails where they said, said that they were going to up their shipping costs. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like, oh, okay. Shipping is going to cost a little bit more. Yeah. Like 20 more cents or something. Like some of these things going out are like crazy. It's just long story short, like people just have to buy. We're fine. If people buy more than one item, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's we just, probably should. Cause now that, yeah, even just hearing one feedback, because here's the thing we have to remember. It's hard to get feedback. I'm glad yeah. that someone said that. So, like, we can, us guessing and being like, well, maybe they don't mind spending 18 months. Like, right. fuck that, because it, it, people aren't going to say anything. Mm -hmm. We we need to know what value we're providing and provide value. And if that means you have to buy two bottles of hot sauce, I'd rather them feel like they're getting a value yeah. item. I agree. And then we we still make money, but... Absolutely. I mean this, but it's kind of fun to like talk to people about this because like the these feedback. are the, these are the things we talk about and like the feedback's great for like from fans. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, it's just like, you know, you don't have a gigantic amount of the sauce. It's not like we can like 
and we don't it's just tough we just don't do volume yeah the volume like, isn't there you gotta think like right now we have 37 people watching our live yeah you know like we're we're a small volume business yeah we're not moving a ton of product like you know a company like trough or whatever like these sriracha where they're selling you know probably you know hundreds of thousands of bottles you can sell them you can have profit margins that are razor thin mm -hmm. and if you have a million sales and you're making 50 cents a sale you're still making good money right but if we're selling in a year 300 bottles or whatever mm -hmm. it is yeah and our yeah, we just you're not making any money um yeah i don't know we do need to figure it out we're trying to figure out the, the subscription too because we don't want to change the price and fuck all the subscription people like we have to find a way to announce it so basically we found all this out literally the week we were leaving for italy mm -hmm. so we even talked about this we need to do like a, a some sort of like announcement video and give people a month to make a decision because we do have to change our subscription because we're definitely losing money on the subscription right now yeah which we're honestly we'd rather lose money than fuck people over because if we change our pricing on our subscription and people don't know about it and they get auto charged to me that's kind of fucked and actually yeah I, just, I would be like we can't we can't you know we it's can't just not fair and also you can't just take subscription away from people without letting them know because they also might be banking on it coming for like a gift or like having it for whatever you know what i mean yeah. like all that stuff so we have to we have to we get back we probably we're gonna have to make some sort of announcement video or maybe say it in a few videos to let people know and give them like maybe especially the subscription we're gonna get people a month to make adjustments so that they can like because everybody doesn't watch every video too yeah so exactly. we can't just say it in one video and then hope everyone saw it because i just don't want to fuck any of our fans i don't want to make a change and then all of a sudden somebody's like oh dude you made this change in subscription i got charged more than i expected right, right. i don't want to take it away from people so we just want to do it because we'll yeah i just would i don't want to fuck anybody exactly it's so just we'll, making your guys' lives not we'd rather worse. lose a couple bucks here and there because we'll make it up Honestly, like we, we'll make it up in donations and shit. We're not going to lose money as a whole. We just, yeah, the citrus sauce is really fucking our merch right now. But we'll figure it out. It's li but literally, it'd all be solved if we just only. You're right. Like we originally said, like if we just do a two bottle thing, like as normally what you have to buy, we're fine. Yeah, you know. But I think there's less sales because like, people don't want to spend twenty nine dollars on. I'd rather, yeah, I agree. There will be less sales, but I'd rather have less sales and people get the value mm -hmm. than like maybe we sell a few more, but the value's not there. Getting one bottle of hot sauce for eighteen bucks, fuck that. I know that would piss. I wouldn't take that. Personally. No, not at all. I totally, I completely agree. So, I'm just looking at it right now. Guys. And having the hardcore boys, like it's the people who love us. I just want to make sure we're giving the right value yeah and then our hardcore group it's going to grow over time mm -hmm. it's just is what it is it's like right now we have a small click of like people who really fuck with us so you know it's just some of these numbers are crazy so somebody just a couple days ago bought four sixer sauces so i mean that's a good you know that's 48 dollars that we get right and the shipping out the door was 17. so like and then if somebody buys a single they like it's almost the same price you yeah. know like that's the thing but you know what helps? Twenty dollars from Ross Worth. Buy your drink, Lake Group, both back in Chicago. Provide some consulting. What's the rest of your injury? P.S. Had to figure out U.S. VPN. This is from Paris. Oh my god! What's up, wow, bro? dude, the fact that Ross was like, you know what? I want to. What's not talking about? Wait, Money. are you a pro at this? Because if you could legitimately give us consulting, <laughs> we're not pros. We're learning on the go. If you, if that's honest, like I'll, I will go get a beer with you. We could definitely use some consulting on this. Mm -hmm. We're not pros. And what are you doing in Paris? That's fucking fire. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, honest to God, though, please, 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 if you actually think you can help us, anybody out there who has some consulting and could actually like help us understand how to do this, we just don't have the volume to do things that a lot of people do, but we have the best, second best hot sauce in the world. <laughs> so like, we, I want to get this out to our fans. Spent 20 hours in management consulting. Probably meant years. Give me a shout. All right, Ross. Um, well, I can't take How care. about next time you're are you do you live in Paris? He's gotta be in Chicago. He's probably in Paris right now. Well, he said when we're both back in Chicago, I feel like he that would mean he like lives in Chicago normally. Yeah, that's what I imagine. Mm -hmm. yeah.
<laughs> shots. 20 years, yes. Yeah. All right, well, hey, you know what? Every Even though there's only 35 people in the chat, one of them was Ross Worth. Yeah, yeah. dude. Maybe uh, things change. Yeah, let's – I mean, Just we're, we're email us blow. at hello at number six with cheese.com. Ten dollars from Neo Fighter. Oh, yes. The homie yes. in the friggin' chat. Um, but Adam, yeah, we're we're absolutely enjoying Naples so much. We we like ab we absolutely adore this city. It's, it's my like, favorite city ever. It's so sick. I'm not kidding. I love I love that you definitively say that. And that's not even close. Actually, it's pretty close, but it's still my favorite. Actually, it's not. People were just like, please stop, like bring the vibes up. Like they just really, we're not sorry. even, we're not, I'm sorry. Honestly, just talking shop is like. Well, and also once I see, if someone feels taken advantage of, when someone says, what's up with this $18, mm -hmm. I take that very personally. No, I get it. It's good I you really care. like yeah. care so much. I don't want, I want to be, I'd rather be an open book and be honest about where the costs come from than anybody to ever think for a second that we're taking advantage or like upcharging. Like that's not our game. So. Mm -hmm. Russ lives in Lakeview. No shit. Hey. Ross, what's your what's your like major cross street? Belmont Broadway. He's a Belmont Broadway boy. What's the rest of your uh, Italy itinerary? Great question. Tomorrow, still in Naples, potentially Pompeii, potentially a Castle Tour. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably it's, it's probably gonna be fill the time pretty well. Also, we're trying to get our first pasta tomorrow. We're gonna do a little uh, go to dinner, sit out on the patio, and like eat some pastas and vlog it kind of while we're like at dinner. Mm -hmm. Which no judgment. That we haven't done it yet. No, no judgment. Make sure we're trying to build up. There we go. You guys are so close. Dude, I'm east of Broadway. So I'm basically you guys are Lake so Shore close. Drive. You guys are, I'm you're lucky. almost at Sheridan, right? Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. like you're more like Sheridan and uh your street, I guess. I'm yeah, like, I don't want to give it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I only say Bella on Broadway to get because it's bigger streets, but yeah, bro, we're well, when I do walks around the block. With my dog to take my dog out, I probably walk past your place, Ross. No way. Me and my wife are going to be in Naples in three weeks. So excited! Bought Dude, the tickets over oh. a year ago. Adam. Wait, are our videos going to be out yet? Mm -hmm. They'll be out in two weeks. Okay, two weeks from tomorrow. So when you guys are there, we'll have had a week of content, and then while you're there, Italy content will be coming out. That's kind of cool. I'm doing the math, I'm making sure our Naples videos will be out for him to. They will, right? They'll be coming out as. Adam and his wife are in there. Okay. So it'll be Rome, 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 and then Naples, 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 Naples. Yeah, so it'll be like okay. a lot of Naples in that second week. Hell yes. Dude, we got some good food spots for you. Dude, Russ said Pompeii's amazing. Russ, okay. what do you um what would you recommend in Pompeii if we only have like three hours there tomorrow? Is it just the standard going around the like you know, Should we go to Mount Vesuvius bodies. National Park? Should we just like kind of roam around like the city area and then like walk toward the volcano? Like what what do you think would be the best of like for three hours, like getting the most and just seeing a bunch? And like we're gonna be like filming and vlogging and hopefully flying the drone and like stuff like that. Like what would be the best? Is there any food in Pompeii? Sean is kind of pitch the idea, like maybe we do a food review there. I think we do like one there. But I also see I'm not on that team. Unless there's someone who's done it, because my thought is like, I get the recommendation. Does Pompeii actually have like a city, yeah, with good food, or is it just like a couple touristy things that we should really come back and get food in Naples? Right, absolutely, I totally get that. Very, very, very curious. Um, Adam Fitzpatrick, bro, we love you too, buddy. And you will have hopefully some inside, some inside scoop. The boys are back in town. <laughs> It's all burnt food. In the family, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all the that's a good out. joke. That's a good joke. Tree tops, my guy. That's hilarious, dude. Oh my god, dude! The fact that Neo Fighter popped on here too—that's my guy. I know. I love Neo Fighter. Um, are you seeing anything? Figs, plums, fucking walnuts. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm good. That, no, that's just like a maybe dumb. We, maybe we don't don't, do don't look it. at that. I mean, I, I'm not just going to do it to do it. Skip food. Due to the rich soil of the volcanic land, the city was skip food. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, that's great. Skip food. Two historic sites. Spend the three hours at one of the two. Let me look this up. Okay, yeah, like, cool. Yes, dude. Rich Ross really has mm -hmm. the fucking four one one for life for us. Maybe you should just be our like life planner too. Yeah, we should have gotten some consulting for this trip from him. Can you imagine us going and being like, all right, guys, we're going to review some figs. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Big Newtons. 
Uh, we just got fifty dollars from Courtney Basinger. Beer, uh, beers on me tonight. She probably feels bad for us how depressed we were talking about shipping. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new thing we just learned about, man. Um, Courtney, seriously, sure. thank you so much. He literally went to our Venmo, dropped. You know, which they don't take any money really, and um, there's no depressing parts yeah, of it at out all. Of Fifty bucks, we get probably what forty-eight. We got forty-nine, basically forty-eight ninety-five. They only take a dollar five. So if you of, donate fifty bucks on YouTube, how much do you think we get? Also, I think there's like a thing where like we could have gotten all of it. I think like people click that it's like a sale, a sell, like a um, goods or service or like something like that. Like I'm pretty sure. But answer my question though. Don't I apologize. No, I guess it's not. I'm just thinking a lot. I apologize. <laughs> I'm such a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm always so guilty of not making someone feel like I didn't care what they were saying. I was also doing something. Actually, no, that is not true. They it always takes it because we're a business. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, that makes sense. No, the question I ask is how much if they don't do fifty bucks on YouTube, how much should we get? Um, YouTube it's takes 30. YouTube takes fifteen dollars of it. Jesus, that's kind of wild. We could lose fifteen dollars or a buck twenty. Is that insane? That's insane. You, YouTube takes thirty percent. They're almost thirty three percent. Oh, Treetop wants to know what's our Venmo. It's at number six with cheese. Yeah, all written out. Here, oh, you, know what, ooh, you know what I can do? That's funny. Oh my god, I just saw this recently. You guys, here, get your phones out really quickly. Put your camera. Put your camera up to the. See if this works. You don't actually have to donate. I'm not trying to beg for money, but like, put your camera up to this, and let me know if this goes to our Venmo and allows you to pay us. Yeah, of course it will. I've never had anybody do it. I've never done it. I'm just curious. Yeah. This is actually me begging for money. <laughs> QFC. This is how, or QFC. This is how QR codes work, of course. Here, go on my thing. Doing a great job. This is how I'm marketing. I'm getting back all our shipping costs. I'm not, I'm fake whispering. Mark paid us $10. <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be. I just am like, Dude, this is what this guy did yesterday. I had to donate to get him to fucking relax. No, don't say that. You really wanted to win my prize pack. You, you might as well. You know what? Every time we do a live, can I get you a tin cup that you can just sit there and be please, please, please? You know, can I get like that old school hat? It's like everyone hat. here has the hat. Fucking tuck your legs into your pants so you don't have any fucking. Butt Come on! Hat. I mean, you're not wrong. And I... <laughs> <laughs> That's actually we should start doing that for the um, what's the software you can use. That we're streaming streamers or no? No, the other good one we use for like the mega oh, live. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. Uh, OBS. OBS. We should put. We probably talked about this. Putting the QR code on the screen, the whole video, or even for like in our videos, it's really small and in the corner. Like QR codes are kind of fire. Like it's like awesome. It's actually low key true. You don't have to fucking worry about finding links and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like because when like now I used one today. all the street you did, she found a QR code in this like random small street, and it was like for history on the. What the street or the neighborhood? Yeah, of the just fucking bolted into this fucking alley. We can walk down. Um, Start a fraudulent <laughs> charity. Treetop said. That's funny. That the funny. the human fund isn't that Chris Angeles? The human fund, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Also, Neil Fighter said uh, his buddy Ghost has a new song called Jesus, and uh, the official video is a trip. We'll have to watch that later, but. People should go check that out because Neil Fighter is a fucking man. And so if he's got a friend who new song, people should go check yeah, it out. Yeah, absolutely. Support people. Number? Do we have a phone number that like – No, I think he's saying like you write number out. You oh, write yeah, I did. Number that. like number Spelled six out. with cheese. That worked. Fucking text uh, came in. Hook this up. Tex already knows. Okay, leave that on screen. <laughs> Tree Top said $9.99 from me. Yeah, Mark. Mark. Yo, what's up, bro? Sorry we outed you in your real name. Yeah, but I didn't say his Tell last his name. his last name, and then does it have his address? Wait, Mark McGrath? The singer from Sugar Ray? <laughs> Can you make all of our problems Dude, go away? Mark Wahlberg? I just want to fly. Dude, I'd honestly be kind of pissed if I got it like $4. 
donation from Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> $10 from Lexi. Y'all yeah. cheer me on to the chug this beer. Lexi, 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 Lexi. <laughs> I, got a whole lot of I was just mirroring you so hard. <laughs> I think everybody should chill their beer now, or chill, chill their beer, chug their beer now. You're stealing my consulting advice. Do you want the QR code for uh, people giving you money? That's funny. How is the burgers from Crystal? What? We didn't go to Crystal. They're not. They're basically just like white. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Castle, right? They sure are. Uh, can please give. <laughs> That's what it feels like to be a fucking influencer yeah, these days. I, please, can I have some money? I gotta tell you, Courtney, I am kind of pissed. No, no, don't skip that. I wasn't trying to, Dick. <laughs> I go, no, no, no. The prize pack is mine, and I have the gray head given to me by none other than giant. You're a piece of shit, Courtney. And here's why. Here's why. <laughs> I won that fucking prize pack. You cheated. I did. You said. At the count of three, whoever has the highest, mm -hmm. it was me. Mm -hmm. As soon as this fucking bum mm -hmm. found out it was me, he said, all right, we're going to give him another <laughs> clock. And then I didn't get to fucking win. And I don't get 50 of my own dollars. I didn't do it for the number six. Or and you gave YouTube $15 of that. Yeah. And I don't get, I just wanted this guy to have to mail me something. You're literally in debt. Like you didn't make any money last month for number six with cheese profit, but you gave YouTube $15. <laughs> Thanks, bro. 15 Bro, by the way. When I filled out, I left this off. So I made this, you guys don't know this yet, but I made these like uh, sheets that we can put, like digital sheets that we can put up on the screen uh -huh. for all the donators for the live stream. Right. I was like, I'm listening. Right, let me let me tell my story. Sorry. It didn't even show up on the fucking okay, camera. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. I I was like, I was top 10 donators. I was like number. Oh, that's so funny. I was like yeah, number you seven <laughs> to this trip. Could you have like had it? We're like, you should have just put it in there. I know you should have put it in there shamelessly, just like Corey Wagner. Just like it just would have been so. No, I know, but like, I, of course, but like that's the thing. We said shamelessly. It's the shame, <laughs> shame that I had. Yeah. That's the thing. It would have been shame. I don't. I have, I have so much shame. I don't understand accounting at all, but I'm going to buy a sixer sauce and a hotter one and hope that's fine. It's definitely fine. Buying more than one thing. Two two hot sauces, we make money. Yeah, I think I still we do do have to call shit, Bob. There's something going on because we lost so too much money. We gotta we gotta, we gotta figure that out. Was it more cost effective to stay in an Airbnb than get a hotel or whatever? Yeah, I mean Airbnb no. Airbnb was cheaper than a hotel. Yeah, not cheaper than a hostel. Hostels were cheaper, but old fucking old bidet, bidet boy, bidet boy. Yeah, old, I like old, old, be square, dude. Old bidet boy. Yeah. Talk me out of, you know, my cheap fucking ass. I was trying to find the grimiest. I was like, dude, mm -hmm. these hostels. And he was like, I was like, no. They got anywhere to pamper your butt? I know. I was and like, I, was I like, need my butt no. sprayed. And so he we, made, we made it. No, hostels. well, we made a, what do they call a compromise? Because yeah. I did want to stay in a four star hotel. And he said, <laughs> I want, he goes, I want to stay in a $10 fucking hostel where you're sleeping next to some fat dude <laughs> snoring above you in a bunk bed. A tent under a fucking bridge. <laughs> But I'm like, and, dude, I found a fucking deal. And dude. then we were like, ten bucks for three days. Yeah, and I, and then we were like, all right, well, I guess we'll stay in like a, a ninety dollar uh, uh, Airbnb. Yeah, yeah. So we compromised. I'm very uppity and pampered, and I need someone to dab my bunghole in a dud yeah. thing. And he would literally I'll sleep with the rats yeah, outside. If, if there's enough tree branches and leaves, I'll sleep under it. Like I just need the weather to kind of not be on. Me. He would just eat figs outside. This is just a sleeping bag with cardboard over it. Well, this is a fun question. How much money do I have to give for you guys to go to New York City and try my favorite restaurant? Do All right. So cost of flights, cost of – okay, we can do hostels there. <laughs> cost of food. I mean, well, think about it, you guys. Like, we don't make – when we go to these places, we don't make – we don't have enough views on our videos we to just, make – we're not getting, like – Make like five hundred fifteen dollars a video. Yeah, like YouTube AdSense for a channel that has forty thousand subscribers, where people like three thousand people watch the videos. Like we only make like fifteen bucks a video. So truly, Patreon mm -hmm. and like the donations go so far. That's why we do so many lives. And then obviously, with the merch not doing well, it was like, well, we we can't shoot ourselves in the dick. <laughs> so, anyways, to answer your question honestly, without being like, it would cost a couple thousand dollars, I would assume. 
It depends on how long. But yeah, probably. Like if you just want us to fly to New York City, eat at that restaurant. But I'll fly say this. Back. Let me be positive, guy. Absolutely. Because I feel like you're just shooting down his idea. No, I like the idea. So I feel bad thing. about how much it I want to do a couple times a year. Mm-hmm. Um, these, like when we came up with this concept to like have a crowdfunded trip mm-hmm. and we went big. We went big, obviously. We're in fucking Italy. Right. It, immediately, I'm telling you, I'm not even for responding. I immediately... <laughs> And immediately I thought we should do this a couple times a year to a couple like big like we, we hit it milestones every year whether it's like sales blah 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 like subscriber count all this stuff um, local we can do cheaper ones like, we don't have to do like these big ones like I can't expect every time our audience is going to send us to fucking Italy but I want to do these more often and then do things like New York where we can do it for absolutely 1500 bucks you also have to like I'm going to spend a weekend away from my wife in my favorite place in the world, yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Like there's a little bit of a buffer there too. Like it's not like, like if you figured out exactly what the cost for us to go was, I was like, all right, here you go. I'd still probably be like, well, no. So just understand it's not going to be the exact, it's going to be like the cost plus 30% or something like that. Well, it's also think about the thing of like, I think the thing that's tough when this is your full-time job, I've kind of used this analogy of like, just because it costs what it costs, we're also not getting paid actual money of I'm ourselves. Sure you lost. So, like for example, this is the analogy I've used, and maybe it's bad. Let's say your boss at your job was like, "Hey, total up all the money that you pay for rent and your like your mortgage, your car, your health insurance, your groceries every month, and, and slide me that number." And you were like, "Okay, it's two thousand dollars a month for everything." And they go, "Okay, when you come to work That's what this we'll month, we'll give you two thousand dollars." Yeah. yeah. So like that for doing YouTube and like the way we do our finances so we don't pay each other. I'm sorry that we're still talking about this. I just more so want people to know like <laughs> when we do those trips and do those trips, like it's not like there's money left over where we're like sick. Like it's yeah, like no, most of the time we're yeah. using the money that we get for the show is put back into the show. Yeah, I'm sorry. We probably, I know people are asking, but I feel bad. Like I'm long windedly talking about yeah. finances again. So I apologize. Also, I hate my voice. <laughs> Six or sauce goes great at most things. Dude, wow, it's, it's, that's a lot. It goes great on almost everything. Well, okay, and once one thing is bad on ice cream. Have you tried it? Yeah, you've put six or sauce on ice cream. Yeah, dude, prove that I haven't. You're right now, finger in your eye. Or what's going on? Yeah, yeah, You're dude. in there, man. I do. Did you hear the juices? Yeah, it was, was kind of gushing. Wet, dude. I'm with you, Sean. Out. Put me in a comfy hotel every time. I was like kind of being facetious. Like I really, I like, was. We were joking. I don't need, but also I love a comfy hotel. But I don't really need much to be happy. But I don't slum it as much as this rat I'm a does. Fucking pig, bro. I used to be like that, but then I got to a point in my life where I was like, oh, it is once you get to a standard where you're like, oh, it's really nice to not be in that anymore. Then the whole time you're not, you are back in it, you're like, fuck. See, this I've, never, sucks. I've never gotten out of that standard. <laughs> yeah. Yet. See, because yeah. here's the thing. He gets actually paid to do stuff. Yeah. So he goes when he gets paid on like corporate trips, gigs or yeah. whatever trips, mm-hmm. you're probably staying at nice places. Yeah, they put you up in like actual hotels. I don't have, I don't get that. Yeah, right. When the, the closest I get is when Dwayne Mancini lets me sleep in the same hotel as him. <laughs> in the room. <laughs> in the same, in the same room. On so the couch. Like, I'm not getting it. So I haven't left that stratosphere. So mm-hmm. Sean's like, dude, we should be a real business, even though we don't make enough money to be a real business. I know. And I'm like, oh, we shouldn't. We should make money. <laughs> so that's a rat life. This is great. We just become whores. Do you charge to hang out? It would be great if I just had like a thing where I was like, all right, to have lunch with me, 300 bucks. <laughs> To have sex with me, four hundred bucks. <laughs> we haven't really done any. I would feel bad. It's not really like like coming to Chicago and buying us. It's a really nice gesture. It's really nice, like thing to not a gesture. The gesture is the wrong thing. I'm not trying to take your money and then. I don't even know actually how to answer this. It's because a tough. It's a tough one to. It's a moral conundrum. It's a moral because conundrum. We would want to do that, but also like most of our weekends and stuff are like. Doing shit. Well, it's like if we had lunch with every fan that we had. Like, it, I like the idea. Really, what it is is we need to have a big enough audience where we can justify doing meetups in Chicago, or like doing events where people can come yeah. meet up, meet us, and hang out. And it's more than just us going down the street to you know a restaurant. It's mm-hmm. like we do an event, so we need to do more of that too. Yeah. We've talked about doing something that. Yeah, that people can attend, and then we'll be there. Yeah, we're pushing it. It's just like we're spinning a lot of plates right now. Oh, I like that term, spinning a lot of plates. You know what I was thinking? Like the ratatouille or something? No, those what? guys who have those sticks. Oh, they yeah. Spin the plates spin all those, is that still a thing that people do? They just go on like David Letterman or something. 
Oh yeah, they would. They'd always go on like a late night talk show. Yeah. I want to go to the red light district in Amsterdam and pay a dominator to torture me, laughing my ass <laughs> off. <laughs> like the high hills, step on the balls. Ooh. Courtney said he'll send us anywhere. Because the Dude, sister community will do it. I'll tell you what, bro. Sean said this earlier today. If we had, if our like main viewing audience was 3,000 Courtney's, we would be set. I'd have an Aston Martin. We would be, we'd be <laughs> you, know, you are a fucking, you are the golden, the golden child of the fucking. He's the golden goose. You're the golden goose. No, yeah. that's not the right word. You're the fucking, the, the, you're the apex. You're the straw that stirs the drink. You're something. You're the king. Yeah, I mean, he is. He's, Courtney is number one with a circle around the one mm -hmm. and highlight it. Yeah. What's up, Luke Story? You want to talk about shipping? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, He's talking to it. Oh, yeah, they're hanging out. He's not, he's not yeah, talking yeah, to us. Absolutely right. We will, we'll do meetup. I mean, uh, well, get out of my time. I would so come to a meetup. No, we want to. We actually, we're, I've planned a couple, right? I have yeah, a couple been, ideas. You really do. We just, we'll see. We have a different idea on how many people are going to show up. I always think way more people. I think that he under undersells. Well, that's not the right word. I think he underestimates how many underestimates. people. He underestimates how many people would come to like a number six, which he's like collaborated event with other brands. I think we'll get. Well, no, no, no. The uh, things I've pitched. If it was, what are you talking about? Other brands? We're talking about bringing people like Soul Sam and Maddie Wax. Yeah, I, should, I said that wrong. Let me reset that. Yeah, because if it was like the Corey underestimates. Idea. If we did a number six with cheese like event, event where it was. Us and we were like, it's going to be on July 5th or whatever it is. I think we get 50 people. Okay, that's fucking insane. You're an idiot. We only have 200 fans who are watching Chicago. You're insane. And people have plans. You're an idiot. <laughs> Respectfully, you're a dumbass. You're dumb. Um, I understand where your hesitation is. I just think that if we have the proper time to promote it, I think a lot of we'll people will come. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be more. Because like, you know what it boils down to? This is the thing. Just like before the hot sauce. My goal is I always want to provide a, a service. I want people to show up and be blown the fuck away. Completely agree. So it's all about budget planning. So I'm cool with making no money. I'll do a thing. And as, as long as we break, I just can't lose money at this point in my life. If I lose money, I might be bored. I'm fucked. I've been taking like ones out of your wallet for years. <laughs> <laughs> my my vending machine budget has been ball boss dude let me get so many doritos. doritos yeah fritos and doritos dude um but if we i just want to put on a sick ass event and we just don't like to do anything half ass either like we could do something where like we're gonna meet at a park and it costs us no money people show up and then they just get to hang out with us and i'm sure some people would like that but if i want to do something i want it to be like i want there to be music i want there to be food i want there to be art i want it to be like something or something like an open sex event Okay, that's something that's plausible. That's okay. how we're getting 200 people. All right, yeah, we can talk about that. We can discuss. We can discuss. Um, no, everything you're saying is completely legit. I just think I like, in my mind, I think there's more people that would like really kind of sh shell out because we haven't done anything like that. Yeah. Sick. Is that outside? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. I want to like, we should probably wrap this up pretty soon because I really want to go and join Napoli. Yeah. We've been doing this for two and a half, two hours and 47 minutes. Oh, sick. Ross emailed us. Good, because I do want to meet, I, honestly, I would love some consulting on this shit. He's just going to go, what's your, I'll what just money? open all my shit. Like, I don't mind opening it. Well, I'll show you my bank account. Ross, what um, email address did you use? Hello? We don't have, we don't have an email. <laughs> well, I mean, we're gonna go out until two in the morning, so it's not like we're yeah, it's only ten. It's only ten twenty. We're gonna be out. We're gonna be out in the nightlife for like four hours. Don't worry about us. Getting fucked up. I just put the email address in the. Unless it went to spam. Sometimes it does that when people first email us. Yeah, it might be it. Put a reel on Sean. Oh, I put a reel on IG. Don't don't judge me too harshly, Sean. My friends are like, oh, sorry, my social media is not good. I'm like, I didn't say anything. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, where, where are we going tonight? Going back to that street? I feel like I just, we could go try other stuff, but it seems dumb, right? I really had a good time with the street we went to last yeah. night. I think we should go back and see your girl, but hopefully she's wearing her maroon hoodie again. That'd be funny. Don't 
Don't call her my girl. I have a wife. That makes me feel uncomfortable. You, that's like a Coreyism. Oh, your girl, your boy. Like I, I was saying it as like, did you think that I thought that I was like, oh, you're going to leave your wife for the girl that worked in no, the No, I just, I'm very protective. Shut the fuck up. I'm just very protective of my love life. <laughs> and calling someone my girl feels not, if my wife heard that, I feel like she'd feel disrespected. She, I, I, I mean, I would assume I, she would know I don't mean that. You know what she would like? She would like for me to say what I said. I I should I'm a married man I should say shit like that and uh, you know there it is ten more dollars from Neofire. Um, yes, that's a lame. We should definitely. Oh my god, sitting in this chair hurts. I'll be honest. My back. Hurts. Really? Yeah. It's probably from carrying a bag around all day, dude. Twenty pound bag. Oh, is it from carrying this bag around? <laughs> I don't know. It sounded like a funny thing to say. Um, Neo Fighter, thank you so much. The bigger you try to make it, the harder it is to keep the quality and then make more. Yeah, I mean, that's true, Luke. I'm not trying to make it huge. I'm just trying to make it fucking righteous. Yeah, just a great time for everyone there. I only want to do fire events. The last thing I want to do is a bum ass meetup. I go bigger, I go home. Anybody who came to the Toledo show knows. Mm -hmm. We do things right. Oh. I was like so hoping that burp was going to come out. All right, guys, we're going to peace out. Um, thank you for letting us talk shop and also just hang out with you guys while we're in Italy. And uh, we'll be live again tomorrow in Naples for one last time before we go to the dial-up internet of Amalfi. Yeah, I think that might be rough. I hope not, but it probably is. We might have to only go live on like fucking Instagram because it's like <laughs> that quality is way worse. Yeah. All right. Um, we love you guys. Have a great rest of the God, sun. <gasps> Wait. Twenty more dollars from Nathalene. Hey, I love Miss Nathalene, dude. Are you kidding me? Um, thanks for popping in at the end. She's probably like, "Oh, sweet, they're live." And then she yeah, came I'm so and sorry. Like, Hopefully, she was just watching and then gave that. And we're not going to just take it and run. Yeah, Ross had check spam. Okay, we'll do. That's probably that's probably where it is. Probably that's spam. cool that that happens to emails. What if we have so many deals from like Paramount Pictures in there? Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Time to roll? Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, guys. We love you guys. Cheers. One last drink. Everybody raise their glasses. If you aren't drinking, sure.